Hey guys, good afternoon. We are back with some Lost Ark. Today we are, uh, we don't really have a hell of a lot to do. <laughs> so it's probably not going to be a full length stream, but first things first, we're going to start off this event, um, which is the Naruni race. I've done this, I've done this four times so far. I've come in first place on three of them. Let's hope I continue this for the stream. <laughs> But the one time I did not come in first place, I came in almost last. I just got destroyed. Um, the thing that's funny about this race that you'll see shortly, probably, is if you pull ahead, then you can just dominate. But if you get hit by, like, if there's pretty much one section. There's pretty much one section of this race where if you get zapped, you can just be screwed for the whole race. Like, you can just be stuck there and not able to move. So let's hope we're okay for that. Also, so there's a few things I need to do uh, here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide some of this stuff for now. We don't need this right now. We don't need... We do need this. That's what we're going to be working on today. All afloat. We don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. Also. Man, our progress is going so slowly on this. We need a bit more for sure. We need to get plus one on every, uh, plus two on every piece of gear before we can unlock the new content. This is uh, definitely slowed down a considerable amount. So we have about two minutes until this opens. And then we'll have a, a, probably a few minutes inside too. Oh, I should probably go to my stronghold in not too long. Doesn't really matter right now. Oh yeah, we just so I just grinded out making like just a shit ton of Diorica water wheels and crap like that for the past few days. So that I could hit stronghold level 25, which now allows me to uh, research lab four, which will unlock a bunch of upgrades again. So that'll be good. So I'm back on track with some of those upgrades. I've been playing my uh, Berserker a fair bit. And my Berserker is almost at almost at tier 3. I mean, not tier 3. What the fuck? My Berserker is almost at tier 2. Um, I'm going to... I'm not going to push any of my characters through tier 2 until I get this guy to tier 3. Because then I'll be able to research stuff that will speed up my uh, honing rates in... Uh, it through tier two. But I just don't want to waste materials at this point. We are definitely in grind central. I've been having very, 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 very bad luck with honing. You know, multiple days, get my multiple attempts and all of them fail. It's been rough. It's been rough. I've also, I've started playing the, uh, Gun Lancer a little bit, and I actually like it a lot more than I, than I used to. Okay. Oh, so here, I'll, I'll show this off. So we have these moves, Headbutt. The shot, the pipe bomb, and the tough Naruni. I'm not sure pipe bomb is that worth it. Because pipe bomb slows you down before you set it. And it, it's basically a drop to get guys behind you. This move, it seems like it misses a lot unless you're shooting into a mass. Um, I've never had the ability to do this move. I basically just headbutt all the fucking time. Um, so I, I think, I think this would be worth it if you're like in second place, you're able to hit the guy, but otherwise, I think you just charge, honestly. So they're going to give us some time to, uh, to read. I actually won't even be able to get any upgrades today because I've gotten all the upgrades for the week. A portal hat will be creative. So 
Let's just do the Umarka. There we go. Random toxicity in, uh, <laughs> oh, what else did you expect on the internet? So I always go down here. This is kind of, you know, this, these races are shit shows, but I always start down here just because it gives me a slight lead because we're turning left, but I don't, I don't go too far down because I don't want to accidentally get stuck on the wall. Let's just hope I pull out a win. Let's hope I continue the trend. Win or fail. Yeah, you'll see the section where you can get just destroyed. There we go. Let's run. Ooh. Okay, that guy's probably going to try to shoot us. Oop. There we go. The section where you can just get fucked is coming up real soon. It's right here. This is the section that sucks. You shall see. Right here. Ah, I run. Okay. You can just get destroyed here. Just destroyed. Just destroyed. Just destroyed. You can get stuck here for literally the whole race. Okay, we're, we're past the hardest section. Us winning is quite possible. This is either of our games, I think. Like, if I get hit by anything, this guy likely wins. Oh, there's the frickin'... Oh, shit. Ah, oh, he got me. I don't got this. Hopefully he gets punched by that jerk. Oh, it's gonna be me that gets punched by him. Yeah, that guy won. Oh, well. Oh, god damn it. Ahead. I was not looking where I was. Ooh. This is one of the worst races I've ever done. This is not the worst one. I did one that was a lot worse than this. Oops, wrong button. Oh well. Oh well. That's life. That's life. Why does it say two? What? I was like fourth. What? Okay, so now let's show off the, uh, where is the, where is the merchant? There they are. 
So, these things have a Naruni mask you can wear, which I have on my Berserker. Uh, a bunch of skill th uh, engravings. I would love if I could get these, but you need th 1302, which I do not have. Which is unfortunate. This would be super good to have. This shit would be awesome. That's worth so much money. Um, Got a bunch of honing stuff. Got uh, cards. Got Una's task stuff. Got die. Got uh, like pirate coins and sea coins. Faeons. Yeah. So we've gotten everything until the reset. Ah, if only we were 1302. So before we do this quest, let's, uh, you know what? Hmm. Let's get a couple things out of the way. Because maybe we can raise our item level a little, a little bit. There we go. Uh, requires 10, 8. Oh, my God. Okay. Go. Good old chaos dungeons. The chaos dungeons are always I never mind doing them. I don't I don't like grinding them a billion times, but There we go. I weirdly feel like my Berserker has more good skills than this character. Oh, I think I have, I think I have skill points to apply on this character. It just hit me. I think I do. There we go. me Ow There we go I hate all the range, dude. Jesus. The range guys are the guys that just mow down your health little by little. Okay, big boy's gonna come soon. There they are. Nice. Let's get out of here. Room two is always the hard one, so now we just got this crap. Okay, okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Okay. Here we 
go. We're gonna have to do this whole thing one more time after this. Okay. And then we'll start doing like a search for Kadan quest. Which should be fun. I've heard uh, some people say Kadan is the like best character in the game. So I'm excited to check out that guy. We're at 90%. up momentarily there we go and yeah let's just re-enter bam gotta do it once more may as well just back to back it I think I kind of get why people would go with first intention now at this point. I think I kind of get it. Because part of the thing is I feel like with my character... I feel like I'm always just trying to get to my esoteric moves and everything else is filler. Whereas my Berserker does not feel like that. My Berserker feels like everything is kind of a viable move. Except for certain moves which like have a function but aren't really high damage like I have a counter and I use that because I need a counter but the move itself isn't you know something I would really want to use against these guys but this character it feels kind of like I have a couple things that are okay and then I have my esoteric move which is what I really want so I think if I went first intention it would probably feel a lot more equalized Okay. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Shit. I hate all these rage. Oh my god. Go away. Ow. I sure walked into that one. There we go. Okay, big boys up here. It's Burhart. And he dead. Okay. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought that was another um, elite. Okay, gather up, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, big guy's dead. Okay, 
Okay, gather up, dudes. There we go. I didn't even... Oh, there he is. I lost track of the elite. See where that the that elite went for a while. Did he do like a a, a, a dashing attack? There we go. Let's get out of here. That's all the chaos dungeons for the day. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. First intention. Uh, MP efficiency, who cares? Um, okay. Let's pull these down for a second. This one might be okay. Let's see. Tier two, legendary. So what does it have? It has cursed all and master brawler. Cursed all, master brawler search. Hmm. Okay, doesn't look like it's gonna sell for much, but whatever. that master of escape and magic stream let's check this out go here uh, i mean accessory ring here too let's go what does it have first intention and mp efficiency i don't think people are going to care about the first the mp efficiency i think people only are going to care about first intention Okay, let's check something real fast. Let's just get rid of this. Oops, and first intention. Wait, what? Why are they showing me ones that don't have first intention? What? Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Who cares, right?
Okay. I want to see one more thing. Uh, okay, auction house. Accessory, ring. Tier 2. Legendary. Search. Engraving effect. Expert. And what's the other one? Call out attack. Expert is a good one. That stuff sells a lot better than you would expect, I find. Okay. Oops, it's not dismantle. What am I doing? Go. Yeah, I think those are all my level ones. We can do a couple level twos. Okay, what do we have? Phoenix Advent. Swift Wind Kick. All right. Nope. There we go. And let's see. With all that that we've done, are we able to hone it all? Are we able to hone at all? Let's see. Fingers crossed. And fail. Let's try this. Oh, and I can't do it again. So that's my attempt for the day. Okay, hey, we got one thing up. That's a win. As you can see, though, I need to get everything to plus 15. And some of these days, I'm getting nothing. I'm getting nothing to get improved. It is rough. Oh, I have the, I have a, a lot of honing shards. I just, I really need to get some of this stuff. You know what? How much? I got like no crystals. Let's see. What is the currency exchange on crystals right now? Pretty expensive. But let's see. Yeah, like 150 stones. Yeah, this shit is not priced. Like, oh my god. Like, look at this, some of this stuff. It, it, yeah, it's not... It's too much. Yeah, so we're kind of in a... Honestly, we are in a boring as fuck state of progression right now. This is the part... Like, here's the thing. In most M MMOs, once we get to a part like this, I normally am like, okay, we're done. Let's move on to something else. Uh, I really, uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you. you know, the game. There are matters that need your approval. You can go check them in the office. A lot of people are like, oh, the game begins at this part. The game begins. You, you know, you hear that phrase a lot, which I always kind of hate. Like, I, I get, I get what they mean. Like, you're going to spend most of your time there. Um, and the, that's when most of your time, like, that's what the game loop is going to be. But it, it's always a weird uh, sentiment to me, in a way. Because uh, I really enjoy the leveling experience on a lot of these games. Um, it's actually, it's the reason why I haven't... I have not used my, uh... Sorry, one second. I have not used my power passes. I've thought about it, but I would rather play through, like, the leveling content than, you know, 
to do my dailies and then quit the game. Um, I, I don't really enjoy that. The only th thing is the reason I'm still working through this is because of the gated content. I, I want to play through the story. And so I have to progress through the gated content. So um, that's why I'm in a little bit of a, a stalemate with this game. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> ugh, just slowly climbing. I need to get to 1100. And it's like today I've made it another 3.33. So, anyways, let's talk to Sebastian. Where is he? Burn Castle. We can do that. I don't think any of the dailies give you destruction shards or anything. I should go around and check. Um, like, here's the thing. Here, let me look at the map real fast. Let's see. Oh well, yeah, Hope Island is always weird. I don't know how you get admit. How, wait. Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know how to access this island. It, there's just like chains in front of it. But some of these islands that I don't have island souls on, realistically, there's probably a large chance that they will have quests that will get me more stuff. So I. Depending on how things go right now, I should check some of these islands because they might have stuff that I need. And that might be the way that I'll speed up progression on this because I sped through tier two. Sorry, I sped through tier one by doing a lot of that stuff, by doing a lot of those island quests. And so I've gotten most of the Makokos in the island, but uh, oh yeah, I haven't really done any Makoko since the last time I checked. I'm still sitting at like a thousand and three. Okay, where is this Sebastian? That's Sebastian. Uh, okay. Quest for Kaden. Okay, so we need to do Whispering Islet. We need to do Your Adventure, Let There Be Light. And End of the Trials. I am glad I got to meet okay. you. I came to see you at Nynaeva's request. Well, actually, I came in place of Papa because he's sick. Nynaeva's request... Yes, but before that, there's something I need to verify first. I can't give you this letter before you meet with all these people. Let there be light. End of our story and end of trials. You need to hear... Uh, you still need to hear stories from any of these people. If so... I, I need to do that for sure. But I need to do something at Balthor? Let there be light. Have I done that? Is that where I get the weapon? Okay, we need to go to Illusion Bamboo Isle. So, the easiest play way to get to Illusion Bamboo Isle is to go to Yorn, I believe. Let's see, though. Does Balthor have anything for us? Does not appear to be the case. Hmm. Where's Balthor? Balthor is like over here, right? Right up here by the honing. Looks like he's got nothing for us. Okay. Illusion Bamboo Isle, or whatever it's called, is a new island that they've added in the most recent update, I believe. Okay, so we're going to repair. Set sail. I want to check something real fast. Okay. Let's see. Illusion. Okay, it's that island. Wait, what does it say? Oh. Let's just see if we can head straight there. So what else do we have? I can't do this quest until I... Uh, uh, item level 1100. Oh yeah, that dumb quest. Iron Hammer? That's part one I can probably do, actually. 
We'll get her five guardian stones. Nice. But yeah, the two key one. I still haven't done this this dumb quest. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Oh right, pray the song of starlight, and I don't have that, right? Wow, there's only a few songs I don't have. How do you get the song of Starlight? I, I I've looked this up before. Starlight Isle. Okay, we, we can get that. We can get that easy. I should look up the other songs they don't have. Tranquil Isle. Is that a quest that pops in and out of existence? A powerful shout rings from this island. Why, hello there, piece of paper. Uh, a crumbled piece of paper lies on the ground. To my foolish disciple, the demon threat to this world. Wait. The demon threat to the world is grows with each day. <laughs> but you're wasting your time drinking. I can't stand your laziness and misplaced faith in your talent. So I'm giving you a trial. Pay close attention, Zinnervale. Once you read this letter... You will be unable to leave Illusion Bamboo Island. Therefore, do whatever you can to complete the trial to prove your growth. P.S. The pear flower wine you made is actually quite wonderful. I think I'll have another glass. Oh, Zinnervale. Zinnervale, the, the disciple who took a pickaxe to his head. These two characters feel very anime together. Hey, Zinnervale. My pear flower wine. I work so hard for it, and he disappears with it? Why did he lock me in here? Is this a test or a trial or something? Ah, uh, he is the worst. Wait, who are you? Why are you here? This was on the ground. Ah, uh, it's a letter from that old geezer. It was next to my head when I woke up, and now the geezer's nowhere to be found. He must have found where I tossed it. Uh, I can't calm down. I should, shouldn't he have warned me a bit beforehand? I've been training like that old geezer wanted. Been doing some work with illusions. Pretty complex stuff. <sighs> that was pretty well animated. So this is how you spend your free time. Shandy does not look old. <laughs> Tell you when I'm good. Drinking as Arcasia burns. <laughs> Long have you trained under me. And you're still unable to identify illusions, let alone command them. So I have prepared these three trials. Maybe you'll finally learn something. You say something? There wouldn't be a single disciple in the world working harder than me. Wait, hold on. Aren't you locked in here too? You could get out. You'd definitely have left by now. 
<laughs> You're trapped in here with me. I don't feel like I'm trapped. Yeah, that feeling is clearly just a part of the old man's scheme. Trust me, you're trapped on this tiny island. You think you're not stuck here now, right? Go ahead. Just try to escape from here. Okay. Looks like I'm not trapped. Oh, poor Zinnervale. It is cool that they just keep adding in more islands to the game, though. But it's interesting because you'll see that they have, like... Let's see. Check this out. Island souls. There's 93 island souls. Reward info. You need 95. So they have the rewards in the game, but... uh. Uh, they have more rewards than you can actually even get. Oh, okay, I do have skill points to add. Okay, I want to see something. W way higher outgoing damage. Ignore defense. Way higher damage. That's cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool, too. What do I want to buff up? Huh? What do I want to buff up? I guess we'll just do that for now. Let's do this for now. Hmm. hmm. I want to see something. Wait, have I not even selected the first one? That's pretty cool. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that. Let's just try this. Nope. That's not what I want. Here we go. Let's try this out. I'm going to go with that for now. You already con confused by this menu? The skill menu? So the way this menu works is you get a certain amount of skill points that you can apply. And uh, and basically, like, I I'm choosing skills that are on my hotbar, right? And the higher the number of skills, the higher the, the uh, skill level, the more skill points it costs. But at certain points, you unlock your tripods. So the tripods you unlock are at skill level 4, skill level 7, and skill level 10. So, for instance, uh, let's look at, you know, Swift Wind Kick. At level 4, I can unlock one of these three skills, and I get to choose. At level 7, I can unlock one of these three, and at level 10, I can choose one of these three. So at level 4, I can either make it um, a lightning attack and Im improve crit. I can make it a water attack and debuff enemies. Or I can make it a fire attack and do a damage over time. Then at 7, I can increase the AoE. Or I can decrease the cooldown so I can do it more often. Or I can improve my attack speed. And then at the final level, I can either um, turn it into just like a quick attack that does extra damage. Or I can make it a longer move but deal even more damage. Um, and then as we go on, we can level up these individual modifiers. Um, I can't do that yet. And then on top of that, you also get 
these runes and you can apply the runes to whichever skills you want. So there's a lot of customization to your kit. It's it's actually a really good system. It's it's kind of like a more advanced Diablo 3 system in certain ways. Like the Well actually that I don't know if that's even fair. It this aspect is a lot like Diablo 3's, but it has other modifiers to it. Um so it's actually pretty complex. And each tier they add more stuff that you can do to to those skills. And on top of that, you get systems like the you get the engraving system, which increases things. You get the gem system, which m improves those skills that you have. So there's a lot of different, like, kind of multipliers to build on each other. It has really, really good uh, combat systems. Uh, how did you get out? A and you came back? Well, why you and not me? This place is messed up. Oh, I can't believe this. So, what is Shandi's trial? Trial? I don't know about that. The first thing I checked when I saw the letter was my pear flower wine. I hid it in a jar deep inside the liquor storage. That geezer sure didn't have trouble finding it, though. Thinking about it, making me mad again. I've tried everything to escape the island. Why don't you just complete the trial? Uh, fine. I was going to try that before you started distracting me with your dumb questions. Let's go. Might as well see how that geezer will try to test me. Let's search the island together for clues. I'm going this way. Don't get lost. Uh... Yeah, it's it's actually not bad because they they really like teach you things one by one. So like the first thing they teach you in the game is oh you leveled up, apply your skill point. Your skill points. And then you just like pick a skill you like. You're like, "Oh, these are my skills. This one does the most damage. I'm going to level it up." And that's all you have to worry about at the very beginning. And then they're like, "Oh, look, you've gotten a, a point here. You can now select something." And like they layer in those mechanics actually quite gradually. Um, so it's not really daunting in practice. Like, it, it, it might be daunting to, like... And I'm not even an endgame, but it, but it's it's probably kind of daunting to jump to at this point in the game. But when you start, it, yeah, it's, it, it is a, a very gradual process. Yeah, this game is really solid combat. Like... Some of the best What's MMO that? combat out there. A tombstone? Last night I had a dream that I got Elden Ring, by the way. <laughs> That's the day I dreamt that it went on sale for super cheap and I got it. I've had like three people offer to buy it for me now. So, you're not falling behind. Impressive. <laughs> Don't uh, mind me. Just try to catch your breath. By the way, I've never seen a tombstone or an illusion gate like this on this island before. Very suspicious. I bet this is the trial the old man wants to put me through. You can already feel the energy of illusion seeping out of them. Come on, let's head inside. I told you it was the old man. An illusionist can make something like this in a day. The geezer told me that the power of an infallible illusion can actually change reality through imagination. All right, let's see how great it is. Yeah, so I just... What is this Originally, I was going to stream Mist today, but I figure that I'm in a weird place with this game, and uh, these things seem... These quests seem like they're probably relatively plot important, so I was like, ah, I should just do a mini stream with some of this stuff. Okay, what's up? Especially if it helps me progress my freaking gear faster. Oh my god. Oh, the old man really outdid himself this time. with these tests. Can't I just smash my way through everything? <sighs> Is he like a Lancer class? Eh, whatever. Act first and think later. That's what I always say. <laughs> you found the first trial. 
This is the way of focus. Mm -hmm. All these like wine everywhere. Ooh. So this problem I've prepared for you. Focus your mind on finding the path. And you'll get to the exit. Hmm. I know where to pass through the other side. I guess we can just look at the map and literally follow the arrows. Break everything ever. Oh, it wants us to go over here. What? Why? It's weird that it has the arrows showing us that we can climb up, but we can't climb up. Hmm. Oh, do we have to break this so that that goes up? I see. And now we will be able to climb up the ladder. I get it. This is easy. <laughs> oh yeah, I that's what I've been doing with this game, to be honest. Like, for clarity, what's the date today? Today's like the 11th or 12th? 14th. Oh my god, I really am no lifing it. Uh, yeah, I played, I played 375 hours, and it's come out like a month and a week ago. It's been a lot. <laughs> I've actually been playing a lot less recently too. See those fools down there? They must be part of the trial of the old man prepared for me. We should get rid of them before we head down. Those liquor kegs hanging high would do wonders. Take aim and hit those jerks. And broke PVP. How do you mean you broke PvP? Wait, what are we doing exactly? There we go. Okay, I see. Who's that dude? Okay, operate the crane, blah, 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 same deal. Shit, I thought they were going to keep traveling. God damn it. There we go, we got them. Okay. Last liquor storage, yes. Yeah, I do think after, after my, like, this week is a stressful week after this week ends. I think I'm going to start, uh, I, I think I want to start Kingsfield. I think I want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to finish that game, but, uh, I think I want to, want to start it. What are we doing here? Oh, seriously. Oh, poor players. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. What do we need to do? We need to kill a couple more guys. A couple of phantoms. Ow. 
now. Go. Ow. Goodbye. Hello. Zinnervale. Yeah, Kingsfield is... Uh, yeah, that's why I don't want to do it this week. Yeah, honestly, it's it's a weird game. Um, I don't know how much fun I'll have with it, but it's... There is something endearing about it, but it's also bullshit as hell. <laughs> Come on. This is hardly a trial. I can pass something like this easy, no matter how many uh, there are. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the rest of these trials. Let's go see what's next. Yeah, some of the stuff in Kingsfield and the combat, there's a lot of things that are like, ugh. Like, you can King's Quest yourself in that game. You can make it where, yeah, they were jerks. Like, you can make it where you, like, sell or something, an item you need, and then you can't beat the game anymore, but the game doesn't tell you. Concentration is the key to illusion mastery. Sadly, you have the attention span of a piggerit. Concentrate your mind and try to find me. <laughs> Man? Hmm? Man? Hmm? There's so many! <laughs> oh, this is... our worst nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> So we just have to like go and hit all these illusions until we find the correct one. The old man is everywhere. There he is. There he is again. Everywhere. Look, it's him. He's everywhere. But which one is the real one? Wait a sec. They're all a bit different from the old man. That one's belt color is different and that one's hair is a bit off. He clearly underestimates me if he thinks this would fool me. But he really, does he really think I'm this bad? I'll find him on my first try. Let's find the Use real one. the illusion detectors to find the fake versions of me. Oh. I'm sure a disciple like you will be able to do this. Focus. Illusion detectors. He always wears something over his silver hair. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Ah. What is this? What is this quest? Well, I mean, this character is the disciple of that dude, and this character literally, literally tried to put a pickaxe through that man's head once. This doesn't feel like it's much of a test. It's like, just use a camera a bunch. Take, uh... What? Take a photo of Shandi? Okay, so we found the real one once. I'm not, I'm not even trying to find the real one. I'm just taking a picture at every single one. I don't care which is which. I'm just going to take a picture of every one. I'm not going to analyze these. Hmm. This is him. Dang it. Yeah, we got two of them. Something over his silver hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old man would wear brown. Mm. Who are we missing? Where's the last dude? Hmm. I 
I hear one of them giggling. Oh, there's one. This quest feels very, uh... <laughs> he always wears something over his silver hair. Zinnervale! Why don't you help look? Mm. Oh, I didn't even see that dude. <laughs> Natural born decipher. We literally... <laughs> We literally did all of them that... Oh, my God. We did not earn that. You should get that achievement if you get them all first try or something. <laughs> that was the last one possible. We did the worst on that that is possible. Those who command illusions must be sensitive to changes around them. Hmm. Remember this? <sighs> that is one complicated illusion. I know, he looks like a toddler. You pay for this, you old rat. Yeah, he does not look like an old man at all. They just gave him gray hair and an old voice. He looks so young. Ugh, my eyes are sore from all the staring. Even when I close my eyes, I can still see his annoying face. The sight of so many old men is tra old men is traumatizing. Will he show up in my dreams next? Okay, let's bring that bamboo twig to the barrier stone. There's a bamboo symbol on a similar strange stone at home, so it must be related. Is this trial one of three? A bamboo twig and barrier stone. What are we gonna do with these? Uh, oh, I got some I stones. Rub it on the stone. <laughs> yep. Let's put a bamboo twig on that barrier stone. Maybe it'll weaken the barrier around the island. Wait, did I get tier three stones? Or tier two? I think these are tier three. Which means I can't use these yet. Yeah, those are tier three. Did you see what that bamboo twig did? Um, hey. Can you at least try to look surprised and not make me the only one looking like an idiot? Mm -hmm. Anyway, there are two empty spots on the barrier stone. That must mean we have two more trials to overcome. Ugh, this is such a hassle. Now, where could that old man have hidden the next one? Let's take our time and have a look around, shall we? So I have two major, major, major goals right now. Goal one is I need to hit 1100. Because 1100 will allow all my other characters to progress through tier 2 faster. And so I just I I just need that on this character before I can really progress the other guys. Um, or else I'm just throwing away resources. The other thing I need to do is I need to get to level 52. Because level 52 will allow me to unlock the training grounds in my... Uh, in my stronghold... Which will allow me to just gain a shit ton of experience on my other characters. Yeah, I think it gives you 7,000 XP a minute. So that'll allow them to level up really fast without skipping content. Um, the only issue is it takes freaking forever to level up now. And a lot of the things... Like, I don't think Chaos Dungeons give you XP, stuff like that. I, I don't get XP from a lot of the dailies I need to do. So it's a, it seems like a weird... Uh, it, it's a weird challenge to level up at this point. Like, we're slowly making it, but... Oh, wait. I think there's a... 
Is there a Makoko over here? Is that a thing for the forest minuet? Ooh, is there a Makoko? There's gotta be. Yep. Okay, we're now at 1,004 Makokos. Yeah, 1,000. I, ha I haven't done uh, gotten a Makoko except for that one in days. The first Makoko I've gotten in days. How are you doing? Here. Okay, next trial. We are getting some XP today, though. So it is good that we're doing this quest. Simon, I've got bad news. I did a race today, and I didn't win. I came in, like, fourth. The game says I came in second, but I clearly did not. <laughs> this never ceases to amaze me. It's a team game? Ow. From what I've seen all these years oh, is following it? him around, he couldn't have figured out all this overnight. Because it says that there were like, it says there was uh, first, second, and third. Oh, is it really? Oh, interesting. From what I've seen all these uh, years following him around, he couldn't have figured all this out overnight. He planned a long time for this, and I'll admit, it's quite the challenge. But I'm going to try to solve it, you see? Try to keep up. It's kind of weird to make it a team game, if it is. This is the way to wisdom. Your much lacking wisdom will be put to the test. Being reckless will do you no good here. <laughs> Lacking wisdom? Ha! What a joke! Uh, the old man is not evil at all. No, he is, uh, one of the kind of seven people that kind of saved the world hundreds of years earlier, as far as I can tell. How dumb does he think I am? That wrinkled jerk has no idea how smart his disciple is. I'm not stupid, really. I'll find that twig so fast and make him regret saying that about me. Just watch me. I put the bamboo twig you're looking for on the other side. This guy's Yoda. Lava. Use your brain to find it. <laughs> this guy is straight up Yoda. From here, your character rides this blah, 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 blah. You're placed on a team of seven players and must use your abilities. Once you reach the finish line, you receive a bunch of cakes you can interact with. Your teammates must eat the cakes before the opposing team does to win the event. So there's three teams? There are fiends everywhere. They popped out of a hole and now they're blocking our way. Well, luckily, we're no... Strangers to a fight. Uh, let's wipe them out. God damn it. Come on, gather up, guys. Gather up. I have way too low of an item level for this area, apparently. I mean, I'm clearly beating it, but uh, the guys are way tankier than usual. And we're getting tier 3 resources. Uh, the fiends keep coming out of that hole. We'll exhaust ourselves before we can get rid of all of them. There's got to be a better way. Why don't we block the hole? How will they come out if the hole is blocked? 
Yeah. Self. What a great idea. We can use that big rock over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, self. Great idea. Watch for the fiends. Uh, man, I feel like the translation has gotten worse in this last update. But anyways, watch for the fiends are coming out again. I'll block that hole with a rock. Move. Okay, so I guess I have to help. Okay. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh, wait. I, I should have probably blocked it. What? God damn it. Oh, I can throw it. Yay! One out of three. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot your stupid arrows at me. It's fine. Oh. Those guys just died randomly. Sure, that's fine. There we go. Ha. How do you like that, fools? <laughs> You see that? They can't come out anymore. I'll climb up and figure out where to go next. You go on ahead. It should be fine now that the hole's blocked. I'll see you in a bit. Here comes Zinnervale. Yeah, I'm curious if Zinnervale is supposed to be the Lancer class that's going to come out in the, uh, in the future. The Lancer class looks like it might be my favorite class in the game from the footage I've seen of it. I might switch my main to that when it comes out. Go. Yeah, the Lancer looks really good. It doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like a class I'd love, but it looks really freaking cool. What the hell are we doing here? Demolish? Uh Oh, I see. God damn it, this is annoying. What? Dude, follow me. What the hell? Come on, dude, follow me. Like, we need to get that... Oh, we have to blow up this stuff. That is so weird. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, you thought about... Wait, what? A gun user of some type? Wait, what? They're, I mean, they are adding a gun user. They're, at, they're gonna add the scouter. I said Lancer? Oh, Gun Lancer. No, 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 no. Bamboo Twig is on the other side. It's too far to jump across. Uh, is there a rock below? There's Oops. a large rock here. Yes! Let's drop the rock and make a bridge! Am I like a dung beetle all of a sudden? How the hell do you push something this big? Alright, my turn. Yeah, they are very, very cliche anime. Very, very, very cliche here anime. Another perfect shot by Zinnervale. Huh? Ha! Ha! Try 
try and keep up, Slowpoke. I very vaguely remember D. Gray Man. I remember. Didn't the dude have like a giant like demon arm or something? Thankfully, you're not completely helpless. <laughs> hey, geezer, tell me the truth. Aren't you proud of me? I finished the trial of wisdom pretty easily. Remember, forging a flawless illusion requires the wisdom to see through things. Yeah, the Akuma. I think I watched like probably like eight episodes of that when I was in high school. So we found the second bamboo twig. Probably in record time too. The old man's gonna be so annoyed when we crush this his stupid trial. Frankly, can we even call this a trial? It's super easy. That geezer must really think I'm inept if he uh, thinks this will challenge me. Hey, Nintendo 64, how is it going? Thank you for the raid. Oh my gosh. Let's give a shout out. And let's see what you are to today. Oh, Sims 4, nice. How was that? Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, Simon. I, I I always forget. I always forget that you can that you can shout out. I just I, you know I get too excited. Hey, we're doing some Lost Ark, which is a, a newish MMO in the West. Came out like last month, and uh... <laughs> we're showing off the good and the bad. It's really really good, but it's also really really bad, all at the same time. But I really like it. Uh, you were rated to- Oh, thanks! I really appreciate it! Oh, man. So, right- Yeah, right now, we are playing some content that was just patched in the game. We're really trying to slowly grind our way up to the next item level, and it's- Or the next tier, and it's brutal. The grind is brutal. Oh. Oh, it's rough. Um, but the- The combat and stuff in this game is really, really great. Um, the- skill set customization is really great for an MMO. So, you know, <laughs> definitely pros and cons. Okay. Okay, I'll admit it. I could use a little work in the illusion control skill area. I guess you could say it's my only real flaw, right? What else is wrong with me? Actually, don't answer that. <laughs> for your information, I'm actually a pretty smart guy. I just usually choose to not to use my head. I, I usually choose not to use my head so much. It slows me down. It's uh, probably better to use your head from now on. What do you know? I've gotten this far without overthinking things. Not everyone has to be slow to act wisdom junkies like the old man. Anyways, I just passed the trial of wisdom. The geezer thought this was my weakness. Please, I can do it if I want. I'm Zittervale the Great. <laughs> okay, so you're ready to head back home? Sure. Yeah, so... We are kind of getting near the end of these. I, I basically binged Lost Ark for like a month. Um, just almost exclusively streaming Lost Ark. We probably only have a couple Lost Ark streams left in us. And then we're going to be moving back to our like random stuff. I was going to be playing the Mist remake. I want to play some Kingsfield soon. Um, I also owe chat Shantae. Uh, because we have a thing. We have a thing now called Video Game Roulette. Which has been on a slight hiatus. Um, where basically they vote on a random number between like 1 and 2,000. And it selects a random game from my libraries. And they've landed on Shantae. So uh, I have to play that one soon too. Putting the bamboo twig on the barrier stone will weaken the barrier. I wish that barrier were gone already. Let's put the twig on the stone. Yeah, we're getting all tier 3 stuff that we can't use yet. Don't tell me you forgot that it goes on the barrier stone. Oh, we're slowly making progress. Oh, I, I don't think we're going to get to uh, 52 today. That grind takes way too long now. That's two trials so far. It seems like the barrier around the island is weakened. Still, it doesn't feel like I can get out yet. I guess I'll have to complete another trial. Ooh, okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Actually, hold on. Are you okay? You having any problems with the trials? Uh, not really. Ooh, we got a tough one over here. I can tell you're putting on a brave face, though. Well, you can just count on me to continue leading the way. I'll solve the last trial like I solved all the other ones. Okay, then, assistant. Care to help me find the last trial? Okay. Oh, Zinnervale.
Yeah, Zinner Veil to me always feels like the like you know the 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 character in a Final Fantasy game that's like the bro best friend of the main character. This is the last one. That's true. We are on Carmine on US East. Yeah, we've put in a lot of time. I mean, so one of the things that I really like about this game is it's very, very, very alt friendly. It is an extremely alt friendly game. It rewards you having multiple characters and it's nice because I can, you know, have a bunch of different characters to play with a bunch of different people. Um, and it prevents, you know, um, prevents me from getting too bored. Did you just feel that? No? Okay. Let's get this over with. Is there going to be like a big old boss or something? There's something ominous behind the illusion. I feel like this is going to be a big old boss. Yeah, this this is a boss for sure. 100%. It was definitely a strange feeling. Okay, I definitely felt something that time. Like a cold chill down my spine. Can't you feel that? It did feel something weird. Right, it can't just be me. The old man must have prepared something good this time. Let's find out what it is. I love how room shapes just give away boss Illusions fights. Project ideas onto reality. To conquer them, you must be able to see through them. Think you're brave enough to do that? <laughs> no sweat. Then it is time to face your fears. <laughs> oh no, it's Dudley the Dragon. Oh god. How many times are we fighting different forms of Garoon? There we go. Yeah, you kind of want to be in front of this guy, to be honest, a lot of the time. I do more damage from behind guys, though. Ow. Ow. Oh, dang it. I mean, he's almost dead, but it's not going super hot, to be honest. There we go. Booyah! Booyah? Isn't that what Zell in Final Fantasy said? Did this just reaffirm my point? Hungry for more punishment? How about a little bit of this? Okay, so you're a little stronger. Damn old man. Stop this thing before it kills us. You okay? It's an illusion. Don't oh, worry, yes. it's fine. It's not a fight we can win. Well, speak for yourself. Ran away from the enemy. Damn. Ow. We failed. What are you talking about? There's gotta be a way. Something will not see. Focus. Wisdom. Courage. Oh, good God. Ow! Focus, wisdom, courage. It's not real, guys. Oh, I think I figured it out. The old man was trying to say. Why? He gave me these trials. It's about remembering who I am. 
I am the student of Shandy, the great sidereal and illusionist. I am Cinnervale! And illusions are mine to control. Yeah, he's one of the most cliche anime characters Let's in the game for sure. Fun. You boys ready to show him what we learned? The power of illusion! Did you notice that his his uh face texture had pores on it? I just noticed that right now. Hey, what's up? We got bamboo. The monster disappeared. Did you see the power I used just now? You saw that, didn't you? I'm not dreaming, aren't I? What just happened? Yeah, that was the power of illusion. Oh yeah, I'm a real illusionist now, yes. You want to see it again? Huh? Why isn't it working? Maybe if I... Hmm... Guess not. Well, we found the last twig anyway, so let's head back to the barrier stone. Okay. So I think we're basically done with this quest. Come forth. Powers of illusion. <laughs> I command you, illusions. Uh please? It's not working. I felt like my spirit cha changed too before. You're here. It's time to end the trial. Let's place that last twig. Even though tier 3 stuff is exceptionally valuable, I wish I was getting tier 2. I want to end this grind. The ward. It's gone finally. <sighs> Gorgeous day, isn't it? Perfect for learning a valuable life lesson. Just day? That all you have to say to me after trapping me on the stupid island? Is that any way to address a beloved teacher? Maybe you need another lesson. <laughs> Can't fool me this time. What am I going to do with you? A great war is coming, my pupil. And we have precious little time to prepare. Okay. I've been waiting for you. Did my trials give you a good workout? <laughs> Focus, wisdom, courage are the beginning and the end of every battle. Knowing this will surely help you in your travels. Anyway, that dumb kid, forgetting how to use the illusion after passing the trial. What am I gonna do with him? Zinnervale is gonna keep training here on the island for a while. Feel free to visit again and look after Zinnervale from time to time. He can use all the help he can get. And keep training yourself, yes? There will soon come a time where you uh, will need to use your power. I hope you're ready for what's coming. Gave me all this work again. Looks like we can rapport him now. Can't a disciple get some R and R time? Anyway, thank you for your help with the trials. Now that I think of it, the geezer must have known you were going to come to this island. Us working together was part of his plan. That old snake—he's cunning, like a thousand-year-old fox, a snake fox. How do you feel? 
I feel like I improved. Ow. I think I'll stay on this island and train more seriously this time. I'm so close to being able to control illusions. I know it. Just gotta focus. Wait. Hold everything. I just remembered my pear flower wine. Old man, where did you go? Give me back my wine. Okay, listen. You know this is a trope, but depending on the story here, you haven't been paying attention. It seems like Zinnervale and Shandy uh, are them. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that. Uh, I, I don't know D. Grayman enough. But I mean, it, it that is a thing in a lot of in a lot of anime. A lot. Like, I think you'd see that stuff in, like, Ranma. Okay, let's see. Bam. Let's get rid of some of our... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay, so now that we're done there, I think we can go to Vern if we need to. Although our Vern teleport... I don't know if it's charged. Is it? We can. Let's go to Vern. The one map. Wait, what? What? Oh, oh, the map not in row. I was like, no tin row. What? What made your eye twitch? This? Because when you sort it, it doesn't go with him. Autos. I just auto sort. I'm probably going to toss a bunch of those maps, to be honest. They're just wasting space uh well i, I i'm gonna check there for ones are. that i haven't done yet for achievements okay what's up sebastian the best character in the game probably i'm glad i got to meet you i'm glad i got to meet you uh i came to see you at nineva's request okay we already read this nineva's request nineva was very excited and asked me to deliver this letter we can do it now let's read the letter mint plant I have very good news. It's important, so I want to tell you in person. Could you please come to Rania Village? I will be waiting. Oh, no. Nynaeve will be waiting for you in Rania Village. Okay. Let's go to Rania Village. Where is she? Is that her? No. Just another quest. Ugh. Is this the quest line to, like, get to Kadan? It is, right? Anyways. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I was worried I might not get to see you. I am truly glad you came. You know, it was for just a moment, but I heard Kadan's voice on the wind. If we find him, I am certain we'll be able to find the whereabouts of the last Ark. Then let's find Kadan. I'm sure I heard his voice near Vern. It was too brief, so I couldn't locate him. Let's see, where should we start? I need more information about Kadan. Kadan was a tall... was tall with a mane of long hair. I think it was even longer than mine. I remember I volunteered to braid his hair, but he refused. I was sure it would look good on him. Sorry, that's not too helpful, is it? Uh, what should we do? Let's see if there's any other information. My diary. She looks just so much like Beatrice. It's crazy. There are drawings stuck on the back of the diary. I thought it would help if you knew Kadan's face. These are precious, so I kept them well. Wait. My drawings. A strong gust of wind blows again. Away the drawings from Nynaeve's diary, of course. Of course. Well, I mean, at least they didn't go far. I thought I was going to have to, like, go through the Vernie's forest. Nynaeve pulls back the bowstring. What? Beautiful women? 
A young Nineveh and a little girl smiling brightly in a field of flowers. Familiar faces seen. This drawing. Uh, did I not pick them up? I just looked at them and left them blown away. What was that wind? Thank you, mint plant. Huh? I didn't know I still had this one. Let's look at the drawings. The Terra always wanted to make memories. Look how Ponchi Galator is here. <laughs> here, this man with the silver hair is Caden. Man, her her uh, sketches sure look like concept art. I like how she drew herself here too. So this is Lutera, Galator, Azena. That's going to be Shien, or Sh Shin, or however they pronounce the name, Sien. Shandy, Ny Nineva, Caden. Hey, Simon. You've never seen uh, Shien yet. But there's some similarities to Wei. Anyways. Caden didn't talk much. If I asked him something ten times, he would answer back maybe once. He liked being alone, and he didn't open up to anyone around him. A lot, a long time has passed, so maybe Caden has changed. But I have a feeling that he might still be the same old Caden. I wonder if he's still a mercenary. Caden was a mercenary. Caden grew up in Algatia, and apparently he had uh, gained great fame as a mercenary even before he became a sidereal. He was so skilled that amongst the mercenaries, he became known as the Silver-Haired Guardian Slayer. Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild together. My heart is pounding. I wonder where Caden is. Do you think we will really be able to find Caden? Just trust me. Yes, of course I trust you. Mm. Let's go. Oh, that person is... Okay. She looks she like a wings. goddess. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know you're so talking about me. You found an angel out there. Caden. Mm. Mm. That name again, eh? I'm sick of it. What's wrong with that name? Nothing wrong per se, but... Caden is the name of a very famous sidereal. Some adventurers use the name of the name of their idol as their pseudonym. There's more than a couple people named Caden in the Adventurers Guild. It'll take a while to check each one. Are you free today? You can take a seat and look through the ledger. Hey, okay, just just can you point me to the one who is like the best at, at fighting? There are too many Cadens. Wait, what? A Caden 10? There's, there's a there's too many people in this adventurers guild. It'd take forever to meet them all. You have any other information besides the name? A single name alone is rarely enough to find a person. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. This is no ordinary guy. I don't have a perfect memory for faces, but it'd be hard to forget seeing a man. Like this. Anything else noteworthy about this person? He's a guardian slayer. A guardian slayer. What a headache. Guardian slayers often operate discreetly, so they tend to hide their identities. He'll be hard to track down, even if you have a drawing of his face. And outside the Adventurers Guild, Carpus is actually more involved in that arena. Carpus. Carpus is the complete opposite of the Adventurers Guild. They operate in shadows and deal with dangerous things we would never consider taking on. In short, they do most anything for money. They kill guardians and take on assassination contracts. They're a rough crowd, no doubt. And don't get me started on the Zen Lord from Vern. I think nowadays they're taking after, uh, after the folks from the south. Anyway, everyone who gets involved with Carpus seems to regret it. I want to meet them. There's a reason why they are called the, shadows of, the Shadow of the Sun. If you want information, you have to pay for it. That's their rule. Even though they charge a hefty sum, they do get the job done. I don't think you'll have a problem if you get if you got the coin, but you really have to meet them. Please get in. Please. Let's talk to Gideon again. 
How could I ever say no? It's top secret, but if you really want to, I guess I have no choice. I'm in your debt after all. I'll help you meet their leader. In fact, I'll write you a recommendation letter to take with you. Thanks for the letter. Go to Yulia's tavern in the alley and find someone named Regent. Show him the letter, and he'll take you to the leader of Carpus. Uh, just get down to business, and try not to get involved with them. Anyways, what is it? This person will need to stay here. Carpus doesn't like uninvited guests. Even if it's your friend, I can't guarantee their identity, you know? I'm sorry, but I hope you understand my situation. You did great last time. Thank you. I wanted to go with you. Okay. Oh, well. We have no choice. Still, Carpus seems like a dangerous place, so you be careful, okay? Promise? Good. Then I'll go back to the Whispering Islet and wait there. Who knows? I might hear Caden's voice. Bye for now. Stay safe. Okay, where is Yulia's Tavern? Oh, we have another quest we need to get from over there anyways. Okay, what's the quest we need from over here? <laughs> oh, it's the great overscheduled ever busy adventurer. Could you possibly spare me a moment of your precious time? Uh, I'm not sure if he's being sarcastic. I read it super sarcastically, but I, uh, I have no clue. You see... I need some special water delivered urgently. Very precious, rich, top-grade water. If you could deliver just one barrel to Youngkin over there at the tavern. Uh, over there. Over at the tavern over there! I'd be really grateful. I'm sure Youngkin would ap be appreciative as well. This is like a, a big old quest line. This is for... Oh wait, that's a different quest. Uh, Black Market Rules. This is for a quest, apparently. Okay, so we need to deliver it inside the tavern. More booze. I don't care if those demons are sitting outside on the <laughs> doorstep. I don't <laughs> care if the demons are sitting outside the doorstep. I love it. Okay, let's go. Uh, hello, youngkin. Oh, wow. I really appreciate this. It just so happens my guests were looking for the top grade water. It must have been very heavy. Thank you for going through all the trouble of carrying that heavy barrel through the cluttered alley. Oh, what shall I do? The only source of joy in my life is my lovely daughter, Jilly. Earlier today, I sent her out with the payment for one of the biggest suppliers, and she should have returned long before now. What if she's been taken by some unsavory people? If you don't mind, could you go look for her? She sits over by the well a lot. Maybe you can find her there. Okay, so we need to find a person Gideon talked about. Oh, there's Regent. I'm Regent. Why are you looking for me? The heavily scarred man touches the blade of his dagger. Gideon sent me. How odd. The old man rarely sends guests. He burns the recommendation letter from Gideon and stands up. Follow me and stay quiet. Okay. Uh, where are you? Barboos. I don't care if those demons are sitting outside on the doorstep. We need to investigate a suspicious well. We also need to follow region. Did she fall down a well? Oh, what the hell? Well, we found Waldo. Hey, what? Who are you? Waldo, honey. Help, I'm about to be mugged. Your father is worried about you. <laughs> or the money he gave you. Oh, what? Dad sent you after me? Unbelievable. I did what he asked. I was just having a conversation with Waldo here. A very healthy, uh, chaste conversation. Chaste conversation. Uh, don't you agree, honeybee? Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't want to use that. No, no, no. I'm trying to talk to Waldo. I 
Anyways. Yes, I do. I love Jilly. One day I'm going to mare... Uh, that's not what I was going to say. Uh, I don't think I've seen you before. You working at Mount Youngkin's joint? Uh-oh. Outsiders can, can't know about the passageway. I think you need to see Vito. What? Are you working for Youngkin? I've never seen you before. Can't believe Youngkin sent a rookie here. I'm gonna have words with him. My family is uh, distilling business. Must be kept very, very secret. Can you keep a secret? Uh, you can keep a secret, can't you? I've got a job you can't refuse. I had a feeling when they said this really nice water. I was like, this isn't water, is it? It's like moonshine or some shit. Uh, follow your heart, Simon. Follow your heart. Um, uh, we used to be the richest family in town, so we could donate large sums of money to the Adventurers Guild on a whim. The, that's ancient history now. My brothers have no sense of reality. One of them is infatuated with a girl, and the other with a weird exotic objects and dreams of becoming an adventurer. Okay. To support the family, I had to get involved in the illegal distilling business. But someone must have noticed. They've been putting up posters exposing my business. Could you take the posters down? I'll pay you. Yeah, sure. I'll break the law for a bit. Why not? Okay, where are these posters? The posters are over where we need to go anyways. Is like a leaf on the wind. Look at those adventures. Who would say shit like that? What? An adventurer is like a leaf on the wind. Oh, I wonder what Bye, Nary is doing. Mailman is like the tide lapping against the shore. I'm the silver spear. <laughs> Wait for me. Mm. I like how you have to remove three posters, but there's only two poster spawns. So you just remove one of the posters twice. Did you put up that poster again? It's still there. What am I? Oh, wait. That's a, uh, or is that just like a bulletin board that they're putting them against? Oh, so I just took the front door. Okay, good to know. I feel like the secret passage does not matter that much. Thank you. Finally, I can sleep at night. I'm not a moonshiner by choice. I was right. I'm doing it just to make a living. My, But my prospects are gloomy. I don't know how else to support my family. Uh, so there's another part to this quest at some point. It looks like it's in here. Who are you? Are you in the Adventurers Guild? I heard you uh, talking to my brother. You took down the posters, huh? My family never stooped so low until this generation. Our great-grandfather was a renowned explorer and his son was a business ty tycoon who traded with the goblins. But my own brother is disgracing our family with illegal moonshine. Who cares? It's moonshine. Whatever. You don't look like the type of adventurer who would just do anything for money. The look in your eyes tells me you're honorable. Could you help me? Please deliver this bundle to Will Ronica. That is an amazing name. Uh, in the residential area. She'll have more work for you.
On an errand for Master Verto. Oh, so it's you this time. Sure, let's get to work. See the posters in here? Put them up everywhere for everyone to see. Strange, isn't it? Exposing the shameful secret of his own family like this. I don't care. It still makes me money. When these uh, rich brothers squabble. Now, off you go with the posters. What? What? What is going on in this quest? You're finished? Good. Don't worry, my brother doesn't know I'm doing this. He thinks I'm his silly baby brother who wants to be an adventurer. I hope by doing this I can make him wash his hands of the illegal distilling business. I don't want to feel ashamed to face the villagers anymore. Good job. Here's your payment. Wow, I just got paid from both of them for doing opposite shit. What? I don't feel like you're the person that would do anything for money, even though you're literally playing both sides for payment. Hi, mint plant. Tell me honestly. Who asked you to put up those posters? I can't say. I admire your loyalty, but I know the answer. He'd be penniless if it weren't for me. How dare he interfere with the family business? That traitor is Verto. I'm going to kick him out of the house immediately. I know my brother found out. I knew this day would come, but uh, still I'm scared. Do I have to sleep on the streets now? What if I starve to death? But I don't regret what I did. It was the right thing to do. Talk to Vito. Some goblin? Was Rania Village attacked? You said it's a guest, but why? Uh, mint plants. I'm hiring you. I'll pay you as much as you want. Just go outside and deal with that goblin. What? Oh, aren't you Mint Plant, the savior of Parna Forest, the world's greatest outsider? My father, Elder Balu, would love to meet you in person. This is Ricardo's, right? I came to see him. Father said he's kind to his goblins. Let's so let's make money together. Lots and lots of money. Uh sure. Brother, this is our opportunity. We must seize it. Ricardo, that's my grandfather's name. That's a golden goblin coin. It was bestowed upon us by the goblin king from across the sea. It has his majesty's seal. The great gob swallowed the sun, held the moon in his grasp, and captured uh, and captured and turned the stars into gold coins. The holy gob taught us, uh, taught the first goblin king how to make these gold coins in the shape of stars. I hear the goblin king lives on an island far, far away and is pleased whenever he sees golden coins. My father, Elder Balu, Sent this as a token of goodwill before we become trade partners. So where's Ricardo? Oh, gods, the goblins are back. We haven't heard from them since grandfather passed away, and now they're back. Yes, this is our chance. If we start trading with the goblins again, we can revive our family in no time. Berto was right. I'll wash my hands of the moonshine business. I was only doing it because I had to, and now I don't. You can go. Thank you so much. I'll repay you handsomely. That was a, a very whiplashy quest. Okay, what do we actually need to do now? We need to head to the uh, Carpus hideout. I'm the Silver Spear. <laughs> A guest from Gideon. His master he just in. returned. Region pressed a small button behind the book and something open, probably. Everyone makes that face at first. Go in. Okay. Hmm. Zen Lord? I guess from Gideon, huh? How unusual. What information do you want? I'm looking for someone named Caden. 
Caden. The name of a bygone hero used by two dozen idiots playing adventurer. Two dozen? It looked like it was over 100,000. Any other traits to go on? Red hair, face scars. He is a silver-haired guardian slayer. Silver-haired guardian slayer, huh? Few people come to mind. I'll write you a name. Take it. You should be looking for work nearby. Okay, we have to check out the information from Zen Lord. Okay, here are the people that it could be. Uh, Karos. Title, Silver Mine, Rank, Special. Specialty, Demons, Overall Command Abilities. Mission History, Served as Commander in Multiple Demon Raids, Led the Destruction of the Chaos Gate in Annika. A person of few words, fickle about accepting missions, hates demons. Number two, Yonvir, Silver Light. Refuses such designations of a rank. Specialty, Giant Monsters, Elemental-based Monsters. Has participated in multiple Guardian Raids, Led Ernil and Legaros Raids. Often works alone, cherishes his weapon, has a hobby of collecting the beards of Sladen Guardians. Or number three, Gladius. Uh, the, he retired. A powerful mercenary before retirement, self-righteous and pig-headed. Always conducted missions solo, currently retired, settled down in Rania Village. Okay. Karos hangs around in the wine bar in his free time. So Karos hangs around the wine bar. <laughs> this is the easiest I job just ever. To Yonvir near the market. That was rough voice acting. Okay. Buy food to go with your dreams. Care of the animals over at the living quarters. Okay. Those hungry refugees won't attack us. So it's not going to be this guy. A silver-haired guardian slayer. Yes, my name is Karos, and I'm a slayer with silver hair. Um, are you? Uh, your hair is not silver, it's brown. Oh, damn, I forgot to wear my wig. Did you come from Carpus? Here, I'll pay you to keep this whole thing just between you and me. I wear this wig because silver hair makes you look stronger. So, I basically lie to clients in order to get more jobs. This is our little secret, right, my friend? Okay, sure. Later. Okay, time to look for the next one. Do turtles make sounds like that? Is that a thing? I've only ever heard the sound of a turtle humping his shoe. I'm the silver-haired slayer, Yonvir. This is K-Shutter's beard. What is that guardian? What is the guardian like this time? I'm ready to proceed with the job. I'm looking for a slayer with long silver hair. I had hair before. But I made a decision. Beard over hair. Look. See this silver beard shining so brilliantly? Okay, well it's clearly not him. I'm Gladius in the living quarters. Gladius, is that you? Gee, this is the easiest job. What do you want? A silver-haired slayer? Some used to call me that, but I retired long ago. No reason for anyone to keep looking for me nowadays. I'm looking for Caden. Sidereal Caden. You know him? My predecessor who passed away. Worked with him a long time ago. He also had silver hair, so he often got mistaken for Caden. I have a portrait of him. Want to see it? A man with short silver hair holding a sword. It looks like a totally different person versus Nynaeve's drawing. Now... If you're truly looking for Sidereal Caden, you might as well give up. Why? My predecessor said that Sidereal Caden was not someone who could be tracked down by anyone. Not only that, but he was a human. You knew that, right? So he must have died already. Now, it looks like Caden isn't on the list Carpus gave me. I'll head back to Carpus.
So, found anything? Pretty tough mystery to unravel, eh? If you can't find him by his name and appearance, do you know any other characteristics? Something that would catch somebody's eye. He was the strongest of the Guardian Slayers. No need to even think about it. The harder the information is to come by, the higher the value. This is the most expensive information Carpus has. Where did I put that document? Uh, here it is. He's always wearing a hood, so I'm not sure if he has silver hair or not. But this could well be the person you're looking for. Give me the information. I told you this is the most expensive information Carpus possesses. Gideon's recommendation letter covered you for the information about the silver-haired man. How are you going to pay for this new information? Angry. Talk to Zen Lord. The minute you step foot into Carpus, you follow our rules. Second. The minute you step foot into Carpus, you follow our rules. Just answer me this. You want to trade with us for this information or not? I'll do it. I'll trade. Good. We'll add this new information to your tab. Here, take a look for yourself. His name is Navinos. He's the strongest of all the Guardian Slayers we manage. The details are all right here in that document, so take a look. Even the first line is pretty shocking details. Uh, request for payment. Uh... Chaos gate removal request completed. Closed the gate and took care of the guardian. Agreed to a portion of the payment in the form of information of another chaos gate location. Wait, what? He accepted payment by doing another job? What? Um, at the bottom of the request, a scrawled report is attached. Confirmed the request was completed. Confirmed that Novinos completed the request alone. Confirmed guardian raid mission solo. Requesting payment for the mission... Yes, Navinos has completed demon and guardian requests hundreds of times, always solo, but we are still unable to properly track him, requesting a raise in mercenary Navinos' threat level. Next page. What an unbelievable record. Uh, guardian found near Sacria. Request info. An entity that seems to be a new guardian has been discovered by guardian investigators. The guardian's name is to be determined. No characteristics yet available. Casualties reported due to indiscriminative attacks from the Guardian. Additional information. The first advance party from Carpus has been wiped out. Report. Navinos has completed the Guardian raid on his own. He did not loot the creature. Surprisingly, to attack the Guardian, omitted. Items recovered from the Guardian are in excellent condition. Intent to sell on the black market at a high price. Attachment. Records of the autopsy conducted on the corpse of the Guardian uh, that Navinos killed. The corpse features only one fatal wound which has delivered precisely at the vital point. Last page. Special instructions. The Zen Lord has ordered informants to tail Navinos. Navinos's current residence is unknown. In order for Carpus to keep track internally, Navinos's moments will be monitored. Uh, failed to track Navinos. He knocked out all the informants that followed him and went into hiding. Citing, uh, citing reported of a man matching Navinos' description. The man eliminated Chaos Gate and appeared near Punica and saved the locals. Disappeared after appearing near Curzon again. There are recent records of him. His last job was capturing the Guardian that appeared on Foggy Ridge. Actually, he's the only Slayer we haven't been able to track. I'll contact you if he shows up in Carpus. But don't get your hopes too high. They know my name. Carpus has eyes and ears throughout Arkesia. Finding out your name was simple enough. I mean, we're routinely recognized by, like, kids. Poor kids on a dock. They're like, oh, you're Mint Plant. Adventurer of Lutera, aren't you? So, I, I don't think this is a huge surprise that an information broker would know this. Finding out your name was simple enough. How can I trust this information? I swear on my honor that this information is genuine. Is that good enough for you? Hmm. I'll see you again okay. soon. Okay, I have to head to Whispering Islet. Uh, how do I get there again? Let's see, Whispering. Okay, let's go world map. Burm, 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 open seas. 
Whispering Islet. Uh, what's the easiest way for me to get there? Let's see. The easiest way for me to get there is probably Rowendell. Oh, I, I, for a second, I thought I heard somebody puking. It's like the blank load screen. I just hear it. The fuck? What am I loading into? Repair. Let's hit sail. There we go. Just check our path, make sure we're not going through a bunch of shit. Okay, we're all good. Ooh, our roster level's getting up there. Uh, Stormcrag Grotto. Eh. Eh, who cares about that? Hmm. Red Curtain Arena. Anyways. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, the XP we've gotten is so negligible. Well, we've gotten like, what? Like 1 million today? Oh, it's going to take forever. We've also gotten no tier 2 stones. I'm probably going to start focusing more on, um, oh my god, S some of these things that should probably start selling instead of hoarding. You have like one third of the XP on 50. Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a slow grind. Cause like, it doesn't appear that like chaos gates or anything affect my level. And so my dailies aren't really doing anything for my level. As far as I can tell. So I really probably have to just like, I don't know. I don't know what the goal is. I might go to Punica and do some side quests. Yeah, like I, I've been, I've stagnated right around here for a while. It's a big reason why I'm even streaming this today. It's like, these seem like kind of important quests for plot, but my, my character is so stagnant in a lot of ways. I haven't gotten the Twilight Isle Makoko. I mean, uh, Island Soul. Oh, I'm sorry. Outlaw Isle Makoko. How do you get the Outlaw Isle Makoko? Outlaw Isle is so weird. This island is one of the weirdest islands in the game. This island is literally like a small island like that's this big and it's a PvP island. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry to hear that. I, I, I wasn't... 
You know, in Canada, we don't use sorry as a as a means of our personal, our you know, like complicity, or we use it as like an empathetic connection. <laughs> we also use it like any time you're slightly in someone's way and you try to get out of the way we say sorry it's just you're it's here. just one of our words learned anything about Kaden? here's what happened at Carpus. we really trust this information from Carpus. we can't be totally sure that this person really is Kaden. i received information about Navinos. Nineva reads through the document hmm here's a signature it looks similar to Kaden's handwriting I want to meet this person. We don't know where he might be. I see. What to do? What to do? Uh. Oh, you have a leg? Okay. You said his name is Navinos, right? That sounds familiar. I'm sure I've heard it somewhere. Here, let me just check something real fast. Oh. Okay, I was just making sure my stream was still going. Hey, what's up, Nineva? An animal that Cat yes, Caden used to keep. Navinos. I remembered. Navinos is Caden's sword. Ooh, he's using his sword name as a pseudonym. That's Caden for you. Yes, that's just the type of misdirection Caden would be capable of. Now I'm sure it's him. But I wonder if we'll be able to see him again. Hey, you have a quest. I've been waiting for you. I have a friend I must meet. Can you come with me? We'll do this together. I knew you would accept. Thank you. Normally I would ask Papa, but it would be better to speak directly. Papa? Papa's a silver white eagle, my friend who has been with me since Algatia. He is not here since I asked him to deliver my letters to friends. I will introduce you to him later. For now, let's go to Prisma Valley and Annika. My old friend is there. Okay. Uh, what do we need to do? We need to encourage, because that's what we always have to do. Talk to Nineveh. Where? Oh, did accepting this mission make her disappear? Did accepting this mission make her disappear? Okay, where can we go? Okay, let me see something. Abandon. Okay, she's back better. now. Kaden saved my life a long time ago. It was after I hurt my wings, 500 years ago, when the war broke Kaden. out. Ooh, goddamn! This had seriously damaged my wings, and I couldn't move. Mine was channeling his darkness into Algatia. And all I could do was watch. Then Caden arrived to stop him. Okay, Devil May Cry. <laughs> I just realized it's a March. And uh, Stranger of Paradise comes out this month.
fiercest battle I've ever seen. Hey, Coldy, how's it going? If it hadn't been for Caden, Feymine could not have been stopped. Caden mm. was the strongest amongst us. Oh, no, no worries. Yeah, that bundle has a ton of stuff. I ha actually haven't checked it out in a few days, but I saw like 24 hours after I bought it. Or it, was, it was like one or two days after I bought it, they added like 200 things to the bundle. So the bundle is probably quite, has probably grown since then. Caden was the strongest amongst us. Looking back, I think Lutera knew from the beginning. Lutera swore that we needed Caden to win the war. If we can find Caden before a great war breaks out in South Vern, we should be able to protect the star. I have a favor to ask. Can you share the news about Caden to Azena and Inanna? Yeah, I really should look through that. There's some really interesting things in there. You've written down all the games in a list. You're going to clear it all. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. I definitely want to take a look at some of those. I have not played the Machine's Garden. I, I actually haven't played anything from the... I mean, I'm sure I've played some games that are in the bundle, but I haven't played anything from the bundle, if that makes sense. Okay, we have to talk to Azena and Inanna. It might be too soon, but I think they should know. Not only that, but Azena and Inanna might know something about uh, Caden that I do not. I'll deliver the news. Thank you. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to hear the news. For now, I shall be listening for Caden's voice on the wind. Okay. Now we can get that quest. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get the quest. Papa. Papa pear. Okay. Um. So we need to go to Annika. So to do this, we should probably go to Lutera. Yeah, some of the games are that look really cool though. There and there's certain games that like. I know Seba played, like, the free versions of. Like, I think Hypnagoja is in there. Um, so there's definitely stuff that I I, I want to check out. There were some really interesting things I saw. Like, a weird first-person shooters. Weird, there's were lots of kind of, like, PlayStation 1 aesthetic games. Um, some really interesting stuff. Uh, what, was, what was the one? God, there was one that looked really neat. Yeah, Celeste is in a lot of those bundles. Um, th there's a few games that I've seen in uh, in multiple of those bundles that are like char charitable support bundles. Celeste is one that is almost always in those bundles. Um, uh, 2048 Read Only Memories I see in those. Um, I'm trying to remember. There's a bunch that you see regularly. Old Man's Journey. I think Machine's Garden might be the one that I, I was thinking of, but I, I can't remember. I have to look at it. Let me check this real fast. The Machine's Garden. Is this the one I'm thinking of? This is not the one I'm thinking of. Um... There was one that looked like it was... Oh, God, I can't even remember it. I, I shouldn't even, even try to give hints. But, but there was one that stood out to me that looked very... Um, it had these, like, really nice-looking 3D spaces with, like, a vines growing over them. These... Yeah. I, I actually... I really want to play... Uh, 20... Is it 2048? Read-only memories? Is that what it's called? I really want to play that one. Cloud, Cloud Garden? Is that it? Let me look this up. That might have been the one. Yeah, I think that's the one that jumped out to me aesthetically. I was like, oh, this looks beautiful. Let's see. Sorry, 2064. 
2064 read-only memories. Oh yeah, it's it's an insanely good bundle. Like like even even if you set aside the charity. Like like where the money's going, even if you set aside that aspect, um it is it is a no-brainer purchase just from a content aspect. A lot of the games individually are worth the price of admission for the, the whole bundle you get. Yeah, the 2064 read-only memories reminds me a lot of the, like, PC-88, PC-98 stuff. Uh, just a really interesting aesthetic. Yeah, that, that's why I got the, um, what was it? There, there was, like, on Humble Bundle, there were a couple bundles recently. One was the, the like, there was, like, a boomer shooter bundle. Is there a discount? And the on, other was, here. like, I think it was, like, the, like, heroin bundle or something. Um, and the heroin bundle also had Celeste in it, but it had, like, Scarlet Nexus. Like, man, Scarlet Nexus alone, the price is more than this bundle is. Okay, come on, spawn. Spawn, NPC. Where's this old friend? Oh, they're up there in, a, in an instance. Okay, take care, Simon. Energy somewhere near. Here we go. I can hear it. We can just follow the aura. Hmm, someone's presence can be felt. Let's head inside. Hmm. Is this one of the dungeons? What is this place? Guardian Canyon. We are getting closer. I want to check something real fast. Oops, I just closed something I didn't mean to. Oh, well. Stranger of Paradise release date. Let's see this. March 15th. Dang. That is soon. <laughs> Ooh, one second. That, that was me, guys. Don't panic. That was on my end. Oh, look who it is. Greetings, Lewin. are insane. Lewin is a guardian who belongs to neither light nor chaos. He watches Arkesia and tells only the truth. However, he didn't do that today. It's strange. Hmm... Encourage, because that's what we always have to do. Sorry, I'm 
feeling a bit low. He would say something if there were any danger ahead. Yes, Lewin is nice. He covered for me before. If it is really dangerous, he would say something. Thanks for saying that. Shall we head back to that small island? Okay, we have to go back to the Whispering Islet. Uh, so right now, we need to go to Rowendell. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot do that directly. But... Hmm. You know what? While we're here... Here's what we're gonna do while we're here. Me as well. Let's do some filler. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's Chongin City? Oh, there it is. Bam! Thank you. Go up here. And um, we're gonna do some filler super quickly, because we're here. So may as well do it. Congratulations on the huge Ooh, leg, leg, leg. Leg, leg, leg. What is happening? We just have to find a bunch of rabbits. One more after this. Wee wee. Yeah, these daily quests are so like, they're so nothing for the most part. Okay, and now we can get out of here. We just have to talk to the, uh, a person to turn the quest into. Yeah, I mean, this is part of the problem with where the game is at for now. Ooh, roster level up. Nice. I'll take that. Part of the problem with where I'm at in the game is that a lot of what I have to do is like Chaos Dungeons, Guardian Raids, and then those things. Okay, so we should head to Phaeton probably. That is... Probably the best call. Okay. Ready to sail. There's a quest up there. Hang on. What is that quest? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, leg life right now. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, what do you have to say? Are you going to leave Phaeton now? I am, yes. I believe there's nothing in this world that could make you stay. I hope you find all the remaining arcs and we meet in the battlefield again. What? I plan to stay a while more. There's something I need your help with. The dark rain that fell on the land uh, created cracks in the ground, which revealed some sort of cave. We report... Oh, we've received a report that remaining demons fled into it. Some Avesta agents went to check it out, but the evil energies coming from the cave are just too powerful. I hate to ask this of you, but are you willing to investigate the cave before you go? It'll put my mind at ease. Yes. Ooh, skill point potion! Really, Mint Plant? So you decided to stay. I knew it. I always knew you were a loyal friend. Huh. Kaldor asked you to investigate the cave. He must really trust you to send you on such an important mission. 
We don't really know anything about the cave, but I'm sure it's going to be different, difficult, blah, 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 dangerous. Be careful. Hurry. Hurry back so we can get some more food from the swamp, okay? Okay, what is this cave? Uh, okay. The cave of Sin. This is the one dungeon we haven't done here. I like this song. It does not feel like a song from this game. It feels like a song from a totally different game. I feel like the turtle has to be one of the most used mounts in the game now. Especially this turtle, the Azure one. I heard you're going to explore the cave. There's no doubt you're the best of Vesta for the job. I'm kind of worried that you don't know much about Phaeton yet, but I know you can do it. Your ability to overcome the odds sets a good example for all of Vesta. The Cave of Sin is down there. I try to find a location where I won't be affected by the energy so that I can keep a watch around the area. Be careful in there. Okay, let's check this out. This is worth it for the skill point potion alone. That is like my favorite thing in this game. What is that? Oh, so this is going to be, there's going to be multiple of these. Wow, that breathing sound was painful. Oops, that was the wrong button. Oh, well. Okay, what's up here? Makoko? Makoko? Oh, Vista. I'll take it. Oh, there's a book there. Looks like there's going to be five parts to this, maybe, based on the achievement. I sense a new sin. Come to me just a little bit deeper. Um, that was way too erotic. Looks like we can jump down there somehow. What? How? What? Can we like punch something? Weird. Oh well, whatever. This music does not fit the name Cave of Sin. Okay.
Dang it! I didn't- I thought this was- God damn it, I messed up! Oh, there's a thing over there. I was so confused. At which way was which. Oh well. This area is giving me a little bit of vibes of Dark Souls 1. That, that cave with the invisible paths. And like the butterflies. The moonlight butterfly thingies. What's over here? A cocoa. I'm not really worried about my cocos right now. I'm gonna have to do all this shit later. Go. Okay, I'm back on track. This area is kind of interesting looking. I like this more than your typical cave dungeon. There we go. That sound. A door opening? Or was that the bridge going down? Yeah, that's probably what it was. I didn't see that happen, but I heard it. Hey, guys. Oh, I thought you were my friend. Amazing. I love when you just get so many people in the tornado. What? That was weird on the map. What in the world? What? Does something happen with this? Look at the map. It's so weird. And my guy tell- That's weird. What the heck? Go. Goodbye. Oh, oh my god, there's so many things here. Okay, what's over here? Oh, there's a thing here. So are there like 10? No, there's six stars of this. So are there like 11 hidden collectibles in here? Go. Hmm. A coco? I think we can probably very, very easily get to 1,050. But I think 1,100 and on is going to be a challenge.
Lower City. So is this like the former Phaeton? Was this like the, their former city? Okay, where is this the final guy? This is not the final guy. Ow. Ow. Come on out of there. Come on out. Come over to me. Goodbye. My soul, everything is vanishing. No. No. What was that effect? <laughs> they just like stretched an image. That was okay. Ooh, hello, note. Is that going to explode? I was curious about what that was. Gather up. Release the sinners. An even greater sin. <laughs> the voice acting is kind of ridiculous here. I mean, I know a lot of it is going to be the like the voice modulation on top of it. go bam a coco mmm gentle and pleasing aromas I need to get the nice smelling title that's really important I want everyone to know how nice I smell One more. Be free, sinners. I hear the red moon whispering to me, telling me all of the detestable sins you committed. Boss Arena. most of them except wrath I would say I'm not very wrathful yourself for the return of darkness but besides wrath a lot oh that was a waste oh well I still did a million damage Ow. 
There we go. He did. Did I kill him with the shield? Is there a phase two? We haven't lost yet. Not then. Not now. We return to chaos. The shadow is eternal. Hmm. Okay, good talk. Is there a note anywhere? Is there a little book to read? No. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was saying I got a new song for a second. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so we need to head back to Kaldor. Hopefully these guys get off our ass real soon. Bam, uh, Kalaja. Let's go here. You pieces of shit. How dare you? Hey, take two. I want that sweet, sweet skill point potion. Mmm. I like the song. I just realized that the song is like the same, but on organ. You're back. So what'd you find? Mint plant. It's bad news. After Zyka left us, everything began to fall apart. The Chaos Gate has reappeared. We had agents in the area. When this occurrence began, began, they are shaken. I've never gotten rift pieces yet. Great. Thank you for helping. You should take a break for a little bit. Ah... Uh. Okay, let's see. Damn it. We still don't have enough. Still don't have enough. Uh, 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 what do I want? Oh, okay, we have to select the tier one first. Do that. And... Do that. Does it let us save? I, I think we didn't change anything, so we don't have to. Huh? Kaldor is acting strange. Well, he gets like that sometimes. Well, uh, let's just say he has his reasons. I have to go put uh, down some corrupt friends again. Want to come? I can't believe I'm making it sound like I'm killing my own kind. It's like killing my own kind is just a thing we do now. They got the Chaos Gate report. Dispatch goal. A strange thing has appeared in the clouds in the Wailing Swamp. It has taken a similar form to that of the Vanquished Dark Rift reported the Battle of the Dark Rain Plains. Avesta has sent three search parties to examine the situation and report their findings. Circumstance report. Black clouds appeared in the north and west areas of the Wailing Swamp. Quarantined several agents who showed uh, strange symptoms. Requested nearby search party assistant. Sacrian priests requested. Report dispatched to headquarters. Opinion. Keldor shows signs. Uh, sh Keldor. The signs that show the Dark Rift is quite unusual. There are reports from locals saying that the demons... The set of demons can be... Heard coming up from the fisher. We need the Black Falcon. What I don't understand is why is this chaos gate appearing now? Zyka has absorbed all of the darkness in the land. Unless 
Could it be the disappearance of the Ark which has led to this? Huh. To think that such a thing could protect us. I'll look into it. It's just speculation, but it would be foolish to ignore this. Will you help us discover the truth behind the reappearance of the Chaos Gate? Sure. You gotta talk to Beatrice. La la la. La la la. La 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 la. Okay, hello, Beatrice. Beatrice. I've been waiting. You felt the darkness, didn't you? Six of the arcs are together, but I fear that the power of Kazaros is seeping into our realm from another dimension. The power released by Kazaros appears to be accelerating the tearing of t time and space. I think I know where this dark power is trying to pierce through. If Kazaros is able to use more power, I don't know how Arcasia will endure. Hey, you. I'm going to stretch for you. I know you like it. <laughs> yeah, you like it so much. Oh, my God. You love it when I stretch for you. Oh, here. I'm going to pray. Uh. Uh. Here, let's play a song. Temptation. My God. I'm so tempting, aren't I? You just want to stretch. Watch me stretch even more, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the chat. Goodbye. Okay, we have to examine Chaos Gate signs and we have to defeat Corrupted Delanes. Let's do this one first. This one sounds easy. Easy peasy. Hey guys. Okay, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. We'll travel to infinity. Need five more. There's two. There's three, four, five. Okay. Come on, guys. Gather up. There we go. Okay. Ludwig. Did Darius take lessons from uh, Levi on how to put you to work? You have to stop being such a pushover. You don't have to go around helping everyone and their mothers, you know. It might be annoying, but it's our duty as an Avesta. It doesn't matter if they were our friend yesterday. As soon as they become corrupt, they'll become our targets. Never let your heart grow soft. Never. Everyone here has experienced at least one heart-wrenching moment. And we're not going to worry about Tyrius quite... Oh my god, there's more quests appearing. Uh, Chaos Gate Signs. Let's check this out. And after this, I'm I'm going to just go and uh, probably head to Rowendell and talk to Avena. Maybe I won't. Hmm. Well, if it isn't my constant shadow. 
<laughs> okay, let's talk to Carmine. This is the first time we've actually talked to him. Those eyes. You have so many questions. Know that I'm not here to fight you. I consider myself more of a pacifist than anything. There is a rift forming in Petrania. If that rift is not closed, Arcasia will fall. What happened to Thamine? Don't worry about Thamine. Thamine will continue until he finds what he wants. But the Darkness Legion commander will never be able to find the thing he wants. How's Armin? He is doing fine. He'll do fine. Someone is coming. Hopefully, they won't stay long. Demons. Agents of Avesta. Priests of Sacria. This asks many more questions than it answers. What's the situation? Are you saying you were given a warning? A warning of a coming rift that an even stronger Chaos Gate threatens to open. Hmm. The Avesta must keep the Chaos Gates closed at all costs. Mint plant, please help us. We need the best warriors on this continent to fight at our side. We will gather who we can, but you, you are the key. Join us. Join us and help secure the land's future. Okay. Uh, so we shall really quickly go to Kalaja and turn this in. And then we're going to bail on Phaeton for now. Okay, what's up, Tyrius? You're back already. Why didn't you come? It's not that I didn't go. I was going to. Uh, but you took care of it too fast. Hey, you're kind of cute when you're mad. Well, anyway, thanks for helping us out. I was actually writing what happened during the Battle of the Dark Rain Plains. The Avesta keep records on all our battles. We believe looking back at the past helps us better prepare for future conflicts. The Battle Archives holds records of every battle that we have ever engaged in. Hell, I'm pretty sure... It includes, it even includes detailed records of every childhood fist fight each of us has gotten into. You can take a look if you want. I'll, I already told the librarian Garso that you might have come around. Hmm. Hmm. I wish you could use mounts in here. Kalaja Hill, 502nd Night of the Red Moon. Those who found it first called it the Dark Crevice. This dark crevice that appeared in the cloudless sky was emanating an ominous energy. The scouts, a team of six who were led by Hale, went to investigate the dark crevice but found nothing. The next day, one of the scouts became corrupt after showing multiple symptoms of instability. They were executed on the spot. A week later, Hale revisited the dark crevice with three different scouts. It was then that he witnessed demons streaming out of it. They fought the demons bravely, but ended up being killed. Presuming something was wrong when they lost communication with the agents, the headquarters dispatched seven teams of combat agents. The demons were annihilated, of, of course, but nine more Avesta agents were killed during the battle. Later, the intelligence agents reported that the dark crevice uh, was what the world knew as the Chaos Gate. Four hundred and seventy-fifth night of the Red Moon in the dilapidated castle. Upon receiving the report, Zyka ordered the troops to launch an assault. All available Avesta agents were called to arms under Kaldor's command. The enemies did not seem experienced, but they moved in uh, in formations and carried themselves as soldiers. Their numbers continued to increase exponentially. 
but it did not take long before the town was completely under siege. The Avestas were faced by an unprecedented enemy, an ar army of corrupt Delanes. When the town was closed off and there was no one crossing over the barricades except for the Avestas joining the battle, that day there were no survivors among those who were expelled to the Wailing Swamp. Kaldor's special Avesta training turned out to be a great success. Each Avesta agent was able to take on two or three corrupted Delanes at one time. Moving across the battlefield like spiders in the web, the enemies, however, were simply too numerous. Uh, there were so many unanswered questions. But what made these Delanes become corrupt uh, all at the same time? How could these unintelligent, instinctual, corrupt Delanes suddenly create organized formations to attack the town? The battle waged on until the sun was at high noon. No one in Kalaja slept a wink from the sound of the scratching on the town, town barricade. Red Moonshade, 437th night. Some of the Avestas who disappeared were found in the outskirts of the plains. Most of them either lost contact uh, with the headquarters or went missing during their missions, and thus had begun had been considered having gone corrupt. It is speculated that they showed signs of instability while investigating the Red Moonshade, and knowing full well that they would be stripped of their title as an Avesta agent upon returning to the base, they fled to safety. Those who survived in this darkness-ridden barren landscape Seem to have taken shelter in some of the ancient half-buried structures, as the leader of Phaeton, Zyka, had to order Kaldor, the newly appointed commander of the Avesta, to eliminate them. Many of them were Kaldor's comrades. A few were even his friends. But Kaldor was a soldier. The opposition was fierce, but not enough to stop Kaldor from carrying out the order. He went out by himself and returned, leaving no one alive. Talk to Kaldor. They move like a spider web. Meanwhile, their icon is a spider web. If you have anything to say to me, just say it. You saw my records? It was my very first mission after becoming the commander of the Avestas. I'd already killed so many of my own kind. The way I saw it, corrupt Delanes were no different from animals. It was either them or me. But the people I saw that day, they were different. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Red Moonshade. The hidden base of Delanes. Track down his memories. Where is this? Let's do it. Let's do it. This seems like it'll be uh, worth doing. Oh, they're now... I now have the tier 3 guide. Oh, God. We're so close yet so far. God, I did one mission, one island that was literally just like a survival horror quest. It was so weird. It was a nightmare, though. Yes. It was the first thing I did after becoming the commander of the Avesta. Some of them were allies who had fled. I don't want to die. <laughs> None of them wanted to die, of course. But they knew. They all knew what their punishment was for their desertion. Some begged for mercy. Others just stared. Mm. In retrospect, Please. I might have hesitated. I just want here. to live. Please. Please forget about us. Okay. That's pretty dark. They all died in my hands. I was covered in blood, and so was my sword. Come on, guys. Come it on. It felt like my bloody sword was 
begging for mercy. So I destroyed it on the spot. Here we go. Okay. Oh, do we have nothing to do here? We just have to talk to Kaldor? I think I'm probably going to get attacked. I hear some dudes. Maybe not. We'll see. about done this one i'm really curious about how long the uh caden storyline is i'm just uh i'm just saying it happened there's no point in giving meaning to what happened there we are all slaughterers of our own people friends families or whatever they may have been to us we punish them with our own hands this is our creed and the proof that we are different from the demons own your soul as you do your blades for chaos never sleeps sure Okay. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Let's see. Do I have enough for another attempt? Do I? Yes and no. Let's give it a go. And a fail. Not surprised. What are our chances of success anyways? I can't do it again. Uh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Lots and lots. I'm mostly failing now. Okay, let's get out of here. The firekeeper is going to be busy. Thanks for the lurk. Down. Take care, Coldy. Okay, so we can set sail. We need to head. <laughs> we need to head down here. One. Uh, uh, two. Three. That's where we're going. I will be right back. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you in a, uh, I'll see you later. Take care. And BRB, guys. I will let you guys watch the sailing.
Okay. And back. And back. Let's see, whereabouts are we? Pretty close. You guys are probably going to hear some computer sounds. Do not worry. It is on my end. It is not on your end. Okay, let's see. You got anything for us? Upgrade. Normal. How much are all of these? Fuck it. How much are all of these? Fuck it. I don't even think we need these, but fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. There we go. I'll take it. I think that's a way for us to get some XP and stuff right now, honestly. Uh, is there another merchant here? There is. I, don't, I think they have shared upgrade things, though. Okay, repair ship. Yes, dog. I should be taking advantage of those uh those pirate coin trading ships more, to be honest. I really should. That is on me. Let's go to Rothen. Uh first things first. Where is yeah, let's go to the honing person first. Where is the Silmel Bloodstone Exchange? I should look that up. Can I do it? I can do another attempt there. I can't do an attempt of that yet. Let's try it. So we have a 60% chance. There we go. So two of these are within a point. That's good. That is real good for us. We're getting there little by little. We're getting there. Uh, let me check something real fast. There we go. Where is this? Up there. Let's see if they have anything that can help us out. Also, have I supported the guild today? I don't think I have. Bam. Bam. Yeah, I've already gotten those today. I mean, all this week. Yeah, our guild store is not a high enough level for those. Oh, well. 
Uh. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Oh well. Can't do anything with that at this point. What do we need to do here? We need to talk to Azena. This song, I can't help but hear every sperm is wasted whenever this song plays. What I mean, every sperm is sacred. Here? So about Caden. Caden. Is this information accurate? He's still working as a guardian slayer. Guardian slayer, I see. So Caden was alive. What kind of person was Caden? No one could tell what he was thinking. The memories are flooding back to me. Are we going to see a cinematic? Anything else? <sighs> Annoying. It was a long time ago. He was looking for information about the sidereal. The scholars of Dawnkeep should have information about the sidereal. Then I told, uh, tell them I told you this. They will guide you. Azena starts reading through a pile of documents. Move to Dawnkeep. Okay. Welcome to the Dawn Key. I'll take you to the record of the Sidereals. Unfortunately, many records were damaged and burned when Zanila erupted, and we are still in the process of restoring them. You will find some restored drawings about the Sidereal in Sunshade Hall. I can take you there. Okay. Oh, Caden. Oh, Caden. We have to find you. It's a masterpiece that shows seven shining stars, along with the fight between the Sidereals and the demons. There's a demon army general and a Sidereal. Wow, it's just a picture of all of them. Okay. Look at Levito's work. Ah! Another painting over here. Inanna loves this drawing. Hmm, Lutera and Caden. It is said that Lutera and Caden sparred quite frequently. I think the two of them were very close. You can see it in this drawing, can't you? Personally, I like the drawings from Inanna. This one is a drawing from Azena and uh, is a drawing of Azena and Caden. But Caden's eyes were burned, were burned through, so we can't exhibit it. It looks like someone damaged it on purpose. Such a shame. Azena wanted to destroy this piece, but Inanna and I hid it. We're trying our best to restore it. If you are free, take a look at the other pieces. Hmm. It's here. I have something to tell you. Queen Inanna asked me to deliver this note to you. Okay. What's she trying to I heard say? I'm looking for information about Caden and the Sidereals. I have something to tell you while Azena is sleeping. Could you come see me? I'll be waiting at Glass Lotus Lake. Sounds good. You said we could look at the other pa paintings. Where are these other paintings? Eh, whatever. I wonder if this quest shows our like questline progress, like some of the others do. Appears not to. Hello there. I've been waiting for you. I heard you and Azena talking. Is it true that there's been news about Caden? Yes, I'm looking for Caden. I was worried since I hadn't heard anything about him for so long. He is reckless with his safety. So I was worried something might have happened to him. So, you still don't know about his whereabouts. I see. Ah, Caden. When Caden was first mentioned, I thought that perhaps the rift between us could be bridged once more. Broken ties? 
Hayden was warm hearted. Just like a Zena, in fact. Hayden and a Zena, they're they were like mirror images. It's ass. Also, while we're at it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not sure how Caden felt, but Azena was certainly interested in him. She was always watching Caden. And whenever I asked about him, she would blush and change the subject. Perhaps she was simply shy. Caden and Azena. At first, I thought it was just a rumor. The two of them having a secret rendezvous at night. I could scarcely believe it. Uh. But it couldn't be dismissed as mere rumor. Uh, they had been spotted too many times. I heard even Galater caught them. It was a beautiful moonlit night. I don't believe in fate. <laughs> but maybe... I wonder what was shared that night. Oh, how exciting. If Azena is happy, I shall truly be happy for her. Oh, look at the time. Azena will be waking soon. Continue your search for Caden, but please be careful. Well, that wasn't super helpful. Oh. Nana's nonsense made me laugh. She was just so excited. As for me, I can't believe it. So, Caden, really... Shut your mouth. I told you it's all nonsense. Let me tell you where Inanna had it wrong. Let me tell you where Inanna had it wrong. Let me tell you where Inanna oh had it wrong. Oh, my God. Let me tell you where Inanna had it wrong. It's ridiculous that I have to explain myself, but I do have something to tell you, too. Follow Azena. That person's guild is called Taylor Swift. It's true that I met him. He asked about the demon that opens Chaos Gates. The demon that opens Chaos Gates. So, you know that demon as well, hmm? My theory, Caden thinks that if he can defeat the demon who opens the Chaos Gates, he'll be able to stop the war. Caden never was the most rational of sword oh. fighters. So, what's your plan? Are you going to go after that demon opening up the chaos gates? <sighs> I don't believe in fate. But maybe... You just might succeed. Afterwards, Caden started to pursue the demon. I heard he accompanied Lutera for a time. Not long after that, I lost contact. Lutera was the one who recruited Caden, so if anyone knows where Caden went after the war, it's him. Lutera's descendant is Thyrain, I believe? Yes. You can ask him. Maybe Caden can be located, even after all this time. But there's something I must tell you. Caden feared nothing, neither god nor mortal, and no one knew of him. Don't let your gut, uh, yourself get swept up in his destiny. His choices were his alone. Okay, we have to head to Lutera. First things first, though. Ready to sail? Yes. Yes, I am. Let's sail! We need to go over here. Pew, pew. Okay, let me see something. The best way to get here to own uh here to let's say fragments. Laws arc, I typoed fragments as fragments. That is not what I want. I do not want Greg's mints. 
Hidden quest, huge tier two materials. Blah, blah, blah. I should look at this stuff. Let's see. Okay, apparently complete both Phaeton's dungeons on normal and hard. Be good. Same with Yorn. I think I've done the Yorn ones on normal and hard, I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah, I've done the Yorn ones on normal and hard. Guardian raids. Uh, okay. Chaos dungeons, yes. Abyssal dungeons, okay. Islands for materials. Gravis. I don't remember this island. It says I've gotten the uh, island soul, so I've probably completed the quest. Hypnosis eyes. I think I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. Twilight Isle. Distorted Island. I'm not sure I've done Distorted Island. I have not done Distorted Island. I have not. I, I remember that place. I've, I've been there briefly. It's like a weird, like, physics-y, fucked-up version of uh, Wisdom Isle. So I think that's a place where I can get some Tier 2 math. Yeah, so I, I've done all the things they've suggested, I've, except for uh, except for Distorted Island. Okay. Oh, and also the Phaeton Dungeons on Hard. I think I have to do that. I'm pretty sure. Hello, goats! Hello. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure I have not done the faint ones on hard. Yes, I have not. So I should do those. Yeah, I'm curious how many days away I am from this. It's just, man, this has slowed down so much. Oh my god. I know it's nothing compared to how it becomes in tier 3, but I'm not I'm not so worried about um, raising my item level once I'm in tier 3. I don't care if it slows down then, but I want to get to tier 3. Because that will that will help my alt experience a lot. And that's, that's really what I want. Okay, let's talk to Nineveh. Okay. Nineveh! Wait. What? What? Oh, there's the portal. Okay, it took a moment to... Oh! Goats! You asked me what Tatoikis are. These are Tatoikis. These dudes are Tatoikis. The Toikis are awesome. I like the Toikis even more than I like Toy Bonin. And Toy Bonin is one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> oh yeah, goats, this place. I'm in a Disney movie. I wrote a letter to my friends, and they sent me a letter too it's all thanks to papa however it's been too long since caden ha uh and caden still hasn't responded the successor of lutera cn and galater wrote back though won't you read them with me okay let's read it said that the name of lutera's successor is thyrane a silver white eagle delivered your letter uh delivering a letter is a new experience i've seen your story in the old diary of the previous king when the nightmare of the day repeats, like the previous king, Lutaran, 
I uh, will be a shield for this world and fight. Shin. Nineveh. I've heard a lot about you. I'm Wei, successor of Xi'an's skills. I'm a bit lacking compared to my predecessors, but I will always support you in saving the world. I almost can't read the name. It's written so poorly. A letter scribbled freely like the wind. I think it's about asking for cooperation. He was wasted. Okay. Lutera, Xian, and Galator are gone. Time sure has passed. Are you lonely? It's a bit depressing that I can't meet them. However, it's good that there are still successors who carry on their will. <laughs> Shandy is still the same as ever. Nineva, it's been a while. The fact that you have awakened means that there isn't much time left. We are destined to meet. So we are cross paths somehow. I will wait for that. I too may cry when I see Anana. Nineva, I was very surprised when I got your letter. I want to see you now. You, who went to sleep with the Guardians after the war. We could not stop you, however, to meet you again. When I see you, I won't be able to hold back my tears. Please come back to Rowendell. We'll wait for you uh, to visit with Azena. Nineva, it's been a while. Or as the Guardian called her, Nineve. Uh, Inanna and I are chasing something serious. We will send you a letter when we are done. So come to Rondell right away. There's something I need to confirm with you. What Azina told me troubles my mind. Does it involve guardians and demons? Uh, I don't have cute. I, how do you get it? Cute emote. Laws dark. God damn it. How do you get it? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, 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 it only costs 500 silver. You get it from a desert merchant. It's acquired on the Peito. Oh, from a desert merchant, not desert. That is a very different thing. Oh. Okay, I did not know that. We need to get that at some point. In that case... I'm hiding this quest. You guys will never see the end of it. You will never see the end of that quest. Uh, and we have nowhere quickly that we can get to. Well, we gotta go sailing now. Doodly doo. Doodly doo. Doodly doo. You will never know. Okay. Let's head over to East Lutera. Oh, I wish there was a faster way. I hate that you can't actually walk around the marinas. I wish there were actual locations in the game. Because, like, the thing that's weird is, like, Plechia. There's actually a plot about Plechia, right? That's where Armin's from. But you can't land at Plechia. Okay, we're going to hit the Wall of Procyon in not too, too long. Yeah, we're coming up on the Wall of Procyon. It's weird that they have these islands, like the Woeful Drylands, where there's effectively nothing to do there, but they exist because that's where the Guardian Raids are fought. So they're like, ah, may as well put them in the world so it feels more immersive. How am I doing for XP? Oh, I need 10 more million XP. I gained like 2 million this week. Th that being said, I haven't really been doing a lot of questing on this character. Okay. I'm curious about the Caden questline. 
me check something real fast. Let's see. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, while we're sailing, I should check a couple things. We're really far from completing the flotsam task. I, I really haven't been doing shit on that. The mining one I'll get today easy. Uh, after stream, I'll just bump it out instantly. Gotta do all this stuff. You know what? Let's go here real fast. Let's do it. Ooh, life shard. I don't really need life shards that much at this. I mean, I'm sure I will need it. I'm speaking too soon. But like what I really need are these bounds. Let's see something. Okay, those are bound to me. Hmm. Wait, I have the humpback whale oil? Oh, I can do that one quest. I'll do that later. Ooh, let's get these. Excuse me. Okay, hey, we're getting close to the Pato. We need that cute emote. It's come up a lot. I've seen it in rapport several times. Benefactor? Wow, I didn't know I had that title. They always have a new notification for it. Always. Rapport. Ooh, Zinnervale. I'll take your money. Okay, so who's this dessert merchant? Merchant. They're probably up on the deck. Presumably, yeah. They're not here. La 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 la. Welcome. I also want to check another merchant here while we're at it. Okay, who's this? Hmm. Huh. Dessert merchant. That's who we need to talk to. I also want to talk to this guy. This is who I got the Song of Resonance from. Oh my god, what a coincidence. What do you have? Sail glyph. Who cares? Who cares? Sea bounty exchange. Take that. Take that. Do you give me anything good for sea bounties? Like, really? Anything good? I guess that's good. Another thing that I'm just like, oh, I really need that. Guided by the gods. What the hell is that? Exquisite expertise? 
Why would you expect a dessert merchant to have the cute emote? What? Oh, luxury goods. Wow, that is really inexpensive. Okay, now that we're here. Teehee. Oh, kawaii. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Amazing. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now we need to head to East Lutera. Bam! But first, let's get this flotsam. We only need four more pieces. Well, that's not true. We need like 200 more pieces. But we only need 400, four more pieces for this. I almost said 400. Oh, let's honk. Hey, friend. Yeah, sailing in this game is a weird thing. It's like very mixed. In certain ways, I love the idea of it, but it's just such a like an empty time sink, you know? Like the idea of islands is like really freaking cool that you can kind of go anywhere and there's all sorts of stuff. That is awesome. But in practice, it's very like, okay, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. I'm actually so close to maxing this uh, quest. It's ridiculous. That is so easy to do, like, right now. We only need one more piece of flotsam. Although we're coming up on Lutera. Unless that's like Pletchia. No, that's Lutera. Okay, completed. Bam. Let's accept it again. Because we have to. That's the level two, right? Yes, it is. Here we go. Bam. Repair. Okay. Dog. We're going to take a really quick detour. We're going to go to Lake Park. You know why? For two reasons. Most importantly. Most importantly... We need to uh, do the thing we do every day. The most important thing we do every day in this game. Awkwardly clap for Artisan Ur for no reason. Good job, buddy. <laughs> You're so good. We're also going to play you a little song. This is going to bump us up to Friendly 3. So we're getting close with him. Good job, Artisaner. Amazing. He's at friendly three, so we're one level away from maxing him. This feels like the end time. Everything is fine at the village. Man, if someone says that, like if, if a stranger is walking by and a guard is like, hey, everything's fine, you're like, something is definitely wrong. He is trying to get us to go away. What is he doing? Okay. One. We only need like a few.
There are so many freaking bots that farm this area. I now just always let these baddies attack me and I ignore them so that the bots will get hit by the dude and start attacking instead. Because the bots will just like come and, and indiscriminately like take the stuff you're mining. So I just always like let myself get hit by these enemies. Because the bots are programmed to like turn, turn around and fight once they're attacked. We need 10 more. Fun. Yeah, this game is a huge botting problem. I'm really curious. Like, this game is quite high player numbers, but I'm curious as to how much of that is bots. It has, it, it, I bet you it's a pretty substantial amount. Because, like, when I'm going through these zones, I see as many bots as I see non-bots. Now, clearly, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be condensed in specific areas. They're going to be, you're going to see disproportionately more in cities or in areas like this. But, it's a lot. Like, this right here is a bot. Like, the one, the, the, yeah, it, like, I, I'm literally just talking about it and he's there. That is also a bot, I think. Bots are almost always... They're, I would say like 90... 90% of bots are berserkers. And the other 10% are sorceresses. And uh, they always... Yeah, see, here's another one. They always have just nonsense names. They're not in a guild. They have no titles. That's another bot. The, there's so many fucking bots. It's crazy. Are the rumors true? That's another bot. Look at that shit. We just pop in for a second. And all we see are bots. It is, there's a big botting problem in this game. And it's it's destroyed the markets completely. Okay, we've now finished the mining weekly for the guild. Uh, I mean, that might change. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to change. <laughs> because we're doing, we're researching sailing, not mining. Okay. We need to head to Thyrain, right? Actually, before I do that, let's go to the Nomad Camp really quickly. Because we got to talk to good old Thunder. There's another bot. But there was another person there that did not appear to be a bot. I think the later you get in the game, the later you get in the game, the fewer bots you see. But in like the first continent, there are bots fucking everywhere. Everywhere. How many things do we have? We have two of we have two counts of that. Yeah, there that's not a bot. And we have three counts of that. Time to go to Lutera. Remember to activate your tripod. I'm not sure I've ever played an MMO with yeah, look. The four bots right there. I'm sure our descendants will honor you and his time. It's crazy. It is crazy. I've seen like I, I took a screenshot of just a line of like Ten of them stacked on each other, at standing at Thyrain. There's another one. That is not one. That is not one. You're here. Oh my gosh! So Good few bots in here compared to usual. Hey, it's been a long time. How have you been? It has not actually been that long. Real Caden. Say that again. Did you say side reel? Oh, there's a bot. Side reel, Caden. So he's still alive. 
You bring me surprising news each time I see you. Sidereal, a name filled with wonder and history. I have read every book I could find about the Sidereals, but even the legends barely do justice to a hero like Caden. I'm surprised with how little voice acting direction they've gotten. Just all these key words are pronounced differently throughout the game. It is kind of, especially for how little voice acting there is in the game. You think that they would like <laughs> look after that stuff. I donated any books related to the Sidereals to Termia Library. Would you like to read them? I'd be happy to talk about anything related to the Sidereals. I'll read the book. I am sure you don't have time to read them all, so I shall recommend a few. Let's see, which ones would be good? Your serious thought, Thyrain, writes down several titles. I want to list about ten more, but do best if you read these more well-known books first. Okay. Hey, Thyrain. Advance! Yes. Oh, you're doing good, Thyrain. Thyrain's going to take us forever to max. Hey, I'm going to tempt you now. Yeah. You like it when I point at you. That makes you feel special, doesn't it? Mm. You'd give up the whole kingdom for me, wouldn't you? Ah, he's the national anthem. Don't forget your roots. Why are you getting tempted for? Think about your duty and honor. I bet you'd like to see my duty. Okay. We are now going to head down here. Oh. Oh, we got to check the list. Oh, God. Do I have to read this at thigh range? Shit. I fucked up. Oh, well. Well... Since we're down here, let's talk to Nuria real quickly. And by talk to her, I mean play a song for her. Flowers for sale. Show someone your Isn't it nice to wind down at the tavern at the end of the day? Serenade of Love. I haven't been working on her very much. I haven't been working on Vivian either. But I'm going to start working on them a bit more. Coming up. Okay. What the hell is going on there? Ooh. Oh, that person. I think they just um, completed their world tree. Yeah, they obviously did. Because they're standing at the world tree leaf person. I think they just drank their potions that uh, raise it will help you get their terror. crafting level. So they just got a shit ton of those notifications. Because you get like, when you drink that potion, you gain like five levels in all of them. Hey, bot. But yeah, bots also often have the rabbit pet. Man. We're just it's so started. easy to see when someone's a bot. Like, <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come by. Uh, oh, wait, I have to, I have to read a thing. Okay, Chain War Chronicles, blah, blah, blah. Epic Poems of Hermos. Is, uh, there's just a book. The biography of Caden. That would have been useful. Okay, let's look around. There's too many Which books. books. Are you looking for? Hello, All Malcolm. These books are about Siderials. His master Thyrain loves these books. I dare say he has memorized at least several of them. He comes to the library often. I'll mark the locations. Please help yourself. Chain War. Chain War. This is it. Chain War Chronicles. Dang. A badly injured Sylvain soldier screamed in agony before dying of his wounds. He swore that everyone gathered... There's another one. That He swore that everyone gathered would be torn to pieces. These soldiers guarding the valley whispered nervously, sharing disgraceful rumors that the demon had overrun Sylvain and Umar armies, and that it would be their turn next. The human army refused to break apart or flee, and instead decided to cha charge one final time. They departed to the valley, and camped down in a corner of the plains. They assumed would become their grave. The plains themselves were quiet, with nary a trace of life, but abyssal tendrils quivered, 
behind the backs the guards on the sentry just out of view I, I the other thing that these bards i mean bards what the fuck these bots often kind of teleport which i don't really know how they do but okay uh a soldier who returned from an overnight scouting mission and who had heard the scream shared what he saw he said that someone just beyond the the plains was creating a river from the blood of demons and was making mountains with their piled corpses. Once the humans crossed the plains, they saw the river of blood and mountain of corp mountains of corpses. But just as the scout described, at the center, a strikingly beautiful man was wiping the blood from his sword and was preparing to leave. The humans on horseback approached the enigmatic figure and said, please wait, you saved us. Please tell us your name. The man answered back in a low voice, Caden. It was the first year of the chain war in the dead of winter and the first on the first day of the month. That was the day the great Sidereal Caden made his uh, first made his mark on the history of Arcasia. The poems, okay, of Hermos. Do you see through the wretched darkness the torn flags fluttering above the fallen castle walls? Do you hear through the endless pain the shrill, the shrill cries of a mother? Who has lost her child despair turns to joy sadness turns to happiness and everything shall come to an end those who love will return to those they love those who long for their family will return to their family dark clouds shall part the light of the sun shall engulf him and he shall become a star the sidereal shall come caden shall come the poet of plechia okay Biography, where is this? Down here. Uh wait, Chairman Nahoon. After His Majesty established the this compilation committee, we began organizing the historical records. The matter that most committee members disagreed on was Descriptions of the whereabouts and personality of Sidereal Caden. He was known as a kind, loyal, exemplary knight. However, in many historical records, he was often depicted very differently from the conventional set of traits that emerged as the consensus later on. Searching through the historical records to puzzle out the whereabouts of the hero was a very thrilling process. I spent countless days reading up on the stories of our own King Lutera, who was a wandering knight, and Caden, who was a mercenary, hired to march in the Battle of Ankuma. I pieced together the exact steps that they took to reverse the seemingly hopeless situation and turn it into a definitive counterattack for Arcasia. The battle forged a legendary friendship. They even had uh, they had each other's backs as they fought against wave after wave of demons. And through the process of collecting and organizing the poems of contemporary bards who sang the stories of the Sidereals, I discovered a more three-dimensional cadence and was excited, but also fearful, to share the differences between public perception and reality. The Caden revealed uh, through the historical records was a very cold-hearted and quiet. Was very cold-hearted and quiet. Uh, he was often described as looking practically bored when demons filled the skies overhead. He was indifferent to guardians, even as they charged him and split the air with their roars. But he was surprisingly warm to a mother who had recently lost her child, and fatherly. The young soldier whose over-eagerness nearly cost him his life. Above all, he trusted his comrades, relied on them, and cared for them. He was an absolutely loyal. For better or for worse, Caden was a true hero. Okay, and look for the lost book. Oh, we picked the same book. Bookaholic Boris? Oh, it looks like you... Want to learn about Siderials? I've read Guardian Wars many times, so I'll let you borrow it. Here, go ahead, take a look. Can you tell me about a good part? I would pick the scene where uh, Caden appears. Who doesn't love a story about a hero who protected an entire continent with just a sword? Anyone interested in history would know about that story. When I was a child, my friends and I would split into teams, Lutera and Caden, and fight one another. They were our idols. I really enjoy page 250 of this book in particular. Isn't it amazing? I I can almost feel the achievements of the great guardian slayer, Caden. 114, Behemoth, Darkness, Chaos. The guardian Behemoth has awakened during the Hollow War and was revered as a god amongst guardians. 
The weaker races do not dare intrude into the domains of the Sylvains and humans during the long arduous war. So they lived in the shadow of the behemoth to stay alive. But after Vergris finally ended the ho hollow war, the behemoth perished at the hands of the mercenary who had long hunted him. This mercenary would come to be known as the first guardian slayer, but he was better known for becoming a sidereal soon after. Caden, uh, the death of the behemoth influenced future generation in a complicated and significant way. A long analysis of the influence of the battle between the behemoth and Caden is written here. Even now, the historians of Vern and the sages of Voldus butt heads on the many speculations as to what motivated Caden. However, all scholars agree that the behemoth's death was a symbolic, even celestial event. That even the battlefield between the immortal guardians and the mortal humans. Uh, it's noisy outside the library. Click to... Check to see what is going on. Okay. Is Caden just chilling? It's his oh. Majesty. Uh, <laughs> how were the books? I must say, I'm very curious about your reaction. It was fun. I'm glad it was fun. Oh, did you meet Boris? I frequently run into him at the library. Whenever I talk to him, time just flies. Mint plant, there's somewhere I want to go with you. I'll see you at Boria's domain. Okay, we can do that. Up at Galater's Forge. Okay, Thyrain. I'm coming. There we go. Goodbye. Hey, Thyrain. This is where Caden slew Kayshutter. The battle against Behemoth, the Chaos Guardian that you read about in the book, is famous too. But I prefer the battle against K Kayshutter for sheer drama. My heart starts pounding. Long ago, the Chaos Guardian announced its presence by tearing a hole in the sky. Then came the silver-haired guardian slayer. He swung his sword against the fierce K shutter. A single swing. Was enough to blow K Shutter off the cliff. The savior who defeated the Chaos Guardian. It was the great hero, Caden. My heart starts pounding whenever I think of it. Just thinking about the chance to meet the person I've only read about in books, well, it is an honor. Even when I attended the summit in Rowendell, it was like a dream come true. But why are the soldiers gathered? It, we were listening to the story together. I see. I'm sorry for the trouble. I got excited because you were listening to me so attentively. My chest is pounding. Killed a guardian in a single blow. Let's giggle. Hee 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 such a respectable man. Too kind. Let's return to Lutera Castle now. It has been quite a while since I've enjoyed such a good chat. I will show you the information left by my predecessor. Find me in the Caden uh, Cathedral basement. We can do that. I mean, do, wait. Did I say Caden Cathedral? What? Wait, that's what it's called? Uh, okay, let's go to Lutera Castle. Where is it? Lutera Castle. We're going to go palace entrance. Yes.
Remember to activate your triport. I'm sure our descendants will honor. Hey. Is Angela, hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. Got important things to do. Oh, look, it's Ninny Poo. Shooby dooby doo wop wop. My name is Angela, and you are not Nanette Van Wire is a stuck up. was reading the epitaph that my forebearer wrote it honors those who sacrificed themselves during the war and it praises the siderials let's read it i lutera honor the sacrifice and tireless work of countless soldiers and i leave this monument as a testament to the siderials their names will remain etched in history forever it seems the two of them were close my predecessor told Sir Nahoon to build the uh, Caden Cathedral inside Lutera Castle. A tome left by my predecessor was found here. It was discovered while we were uh, repairing the monument in the cathedral. Hmm. Someone's letter is attached to the tome. When the sins ripen, the skies will reopen. The history will repeat every errant step of the past. A loud and undeniable destiny. The sound of the rattling wheel still haunts me. Lutera, what were we trying to protect? A light hid in the darkness. The light in the darkness no longer shines. All lies reveal themselves in the end. I'm not sure what this means just yet. But there's no doubt it contains valuable information related to the Siderials. And it talks about the whereabouts of Caden after the war. It says he went to Petrania to pursue the demon that opened the Chaos Gates. Petrania? There are no other records after that, but he hasn't shown up in Arkesia, that's for sure. So he might be there. Hmm, demons. The demon that opens the Chaos Gates, the one mentioned here. You think it's the same being that disappeared along with Armin? Yeah. Wait, 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 to pursue the demon that opened the chaos gates. There are no other records after that, and he hasn't shown up in Arkesia. In Arkesia, that's for sure. So he might be there. So Caden might be in Petrania. Huh, demons. The demons that opened the chaos gates, the one mentioned here. Do you think it's the same being that disappeared along with Armin? Is he saying Carmine? Wait, what's he? Yeah. I see. You thought so, too. If we can find the demon's whereabouts, we might be able to find Armin and Caden. Navanos is a familiar name. It's the name of Caden's sword. I saw it somewhere in the records left by my predecessor. I think he's going by that name. Official knights are managed by the royal palace. But... If it's a Guardian Slayer, that will be harder to track. I heard they are quite busy, given the recent appearances of Guardians. He might stop by Nuria's Tavern, so why don't you try there? Which one? Oh, I just remembered. I have something to do. I hope you stop by Lutera Castle once you take care of your business. So, we're going to go to Nuria's Tavern. This quest is a wild goose chase. Hmm. The other continents are fine. They're fine. Flowers for sale. Show someone you can. Hello, adventurer. What brings you here? Tell me about Navinos. Oh, so you're looking for someone named Navinos. If he did stay at the inn, we should have a record of his arrival. Hold on a moment. Nuria starts uh, pouring over the record of guests. 
Mm, sir, there's no record of a Navanos. An owl suddenly swoops into the tavern. Oh my, how cute. The owl shows the canteen on its back to Nuria. I think it's asking for a drink. What a clever bird. Who could its master be? The owl begins to circle after receiving the drink. After a moment, uh, it lightly settles down in the corner of the tavern. Looks like it has something to tell you, adventurer. The owl gave me a little note that it had in its beak. Wait, let's look at... Wait. That is an odd owl. Your footsteps are loud. I know you're after Caden. Come to Illusion Bamboo Island. Ah, uh, 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 oh my God. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, we have to talk to Lutera real fast. I mean, uh, talk to Thyrin. Remember to activate your tripod. They sure are making me go everywhere in the world. So who have I talked to? Nineve, Thyrain, Azena, Balthor. Uh, I haven't talked to Wei. You cannot go, Majesty. Your Majesty. I'll, I'll join, join you. you. A small bag sits next to Thyrain. I'm ready. Let's head out. Please. I hope you are doing well. Uh, no, I'm not doing well. What's the matter? His Majesty has said he wants to leave with you. He called to tell the staff that he's leaving matters here to us. He intends to leave Lutera Castle for a while. It's not like we don't, don't understand his feelings. He misses the times he spent on the battlefield and has been aching to go on an adventure with you. We need your help. I will leave together with Thyrain. What? What do you mean? This is highly irregular. As a knight sworn, uh, as a knight sworn to the king... His Majesty, you have always made the correct decisions. You must reconsider. Please stop His Majesty from leaving Lutera. His Majesty's life and responsibilities are in Lutera. You know that well. Do the right thing for His Majesty. I trust you, brave knight. Fine. Really? Thank you, dear knight. We are counting on you. Please stop His Majesty. I had a feeling you'd come by today. Uh, 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 uh. Convince? What? Oh, I have to interact with a glowing light. Thyrain must protect Lutera. Talk. I'll heed your advice and remain within the castle. I desperately wanted to leave with you, but you're right. I cannot leave Lutera just like this. I'll let you know if I find Caden. You're very trustworthy. I've always believed in you. It would be a tremendous achievement if you managed to meet Caden. Yeah. Uh, wave. Bye-bye now. <laughs> later. See you later, uh, strangers. See you later, salty spittoon and pesan. It is always sad parting ways with you. I will try to locate more information about Caden in the meantime. Where are you planning on heading? I'm heading to Illusion Bamboo Island, where Shandy is. Ah, uh, the island where Shandy is. Always be careful. Good luck on your journey. Okay, can we teleport? Yorn, we can. That is what we want. Let's sail. We need to go to Illusion Bamboo Island, which is like over here. There we go. I wish I'd give you like a predicted time of how long it will take for you to get to your destination. What do we have? 
I don't need that. Do not need that. Dismantle. Okay. Thank you for those broken equipment. This is bounds. You know what that means? Get the fuck out of here. We don't need you. Uh That's bound. You know what that means? the fuck out of here here we go I can't use those uh, keys until I hit 1100 item level Where am I right now? I'm close. Why, well, look who it is. Wait, if someone AFKs in the Siren Seas, don't they just take persistent damage? I think they do. Is the dude trying to get a shipwreck achievement? Because when I've stayed still in those zones, I, I notice that the uh, the special timer, or when you take damage, keeps going up. Okay. What's up, Shandy? I welcome you. You arrived quicker than I expected. Nynaeva heard Caden's voice, so Nynaeva heard Caden's voice. It's a good sign. It means he has started moving. Tell me about Caden. You're asking the same thing as Zinnervale. Well, I'm sure you're curious. Caden... What? Way is trying to kill me. This is not training, it's abuse. Zinnervale hides behind you. What are you training for? Hmm. The old man said we need to prepare for the war in South Vern. I wonder if we what the deal with South Vern is, because that's not a zone you can go to at this point, at least. And he's brought Way to Illusion Bamboo Island. He asked Way to train me, but so far he's only making me memorize some boring mantras, and he's ordering me to meditate as I stare at the mountains for hours. I'm going crazy. Calm down. I was just playing around, and he punched me. I was knocked cold in one strike. I'll have to treat him like a cruel older brother from now on. He even punched me a few more times just now. Uh, it hurts. I haven't died yet because it's me, you know. A normal person would have died already. Seriously. If you don't believe me, why don't you volunteer to get punched by way? Uh, what? Mm. Ah, you hit me! Are you trying to provoke me? Shandy knocks Zinnervale on the head. Uh, it hurts. Why is everyone hitting me? Stop hitting me! I'll get a concussion. Stop. This is outright disrespectful. How dare you underestimate me? I'll show you my true power. Old man Shandi, Wei, and you, Mint Plant, I'll prove my skills to you all. Behold, the new illusion skill I, er I learned. <laughs> hide and seek. Zeravel used an illusion to hide. That's actually not bad for a dimwit. You've hidden yourself quite well. It appears that my training has paid off. What is that, Zinnervale? Would you like to try looking for him? Yeah, uh, is he right here? Okay, we have to look for Zinnervale? Okay, hang on. What's up, Way? What? What? 
So what does it say? Uh. Huh. Where has he disguised himself? Is that you? Are you one of these? Bam! Hmm. Oh, there's a marker on the map. I didn't even notice that. Shandy will be able to find me. I dare you to try looking for the great Zinnervale. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Why are you looking there? That's not me. Did you find me? Okay, we found him. So he's basically turned into Naruto, right? Isn't that wasn't that Naruto's thing? Wait, why are there two icons? Oh, I get it. Okay. I commend you for seeing through my amazing illusion. The illusion this time was almost perfect. I feel like I'm getting better. I'll train some more. And soon I'll have the power to rid the world of all those demons. Don't overestimate yourself. What? What do you want? I will someday become the strongest sidereal. I will surpass Wei and Old Man Shandi and even become greater than Caden, the one the old man always crows about. I will beat everyone. I'm not scared of war. You think you know war? If Caden is on the move, it means that something big is as big as the chain war that ravaged the land of Arcasia 500 years ago will happen in South Vern. War is not a, uh, as light of a matter as your foolish mouth makes it out to be. Why would I speak to a stone? I'm just wasting my breath. I'll, I will show you. Follow you me. Understand? The epic cinematic time? Demons and Chaos Guardians came pouring out of Chaos Gates. Not the Chaos Emeralds! I'll get you, Robotnik! And as usual,
I have no there idea what that is an acronym shed, for. <laughs> but we were all weeping inside. War is a cruel business. Do you understand? Saving a life and taking a life are heavy responsibilities. What should I do with you? Remember that you are at your current level. You wouldn't even come up to Caden's knees. Watching the side reels makes my heart heavy. I will do my best to avoid dishonoring them. I saw you uh, talking with Shandi. Are you also planning on finding Caden? Oh, oh, should I, here, should I, uh, let me, let me Urban Dictionary this. <laughs> no, I did not mean BBC Urban Dictionary. No. Oh, well. I saw you talking with Shandi. Are you also planning on finding Caden? That's right. Do you know anything about Caden? My master told me about something a long time ago. He said that Caden felt the energy of a great evil sealed in the predece predecessor's arms. I didn't hear the details after that, but Doshal said, uh, Doshal should remember Caden, so try talking to him. Oh, big bad evil guy. Caden is not big bad evil guy. Caden, I remember that name. He tried to slay me, but uh, Xian stopped him. The smell from his body was different uh, from a normal human's. I can feel his energy. Bring me Caden. I will consume him in a single bite. <laughs> I hope you found it helpful. I'll let you know if I remember another story. For now, I need to take Zinnervale for training. See you next time. You have so many. I'll tell you about Caden. As you saw in the illusion, he was strong enough to slay his enemies with a single strike. Just like Azena thought, Caden has a power that no human should possess. There's only one person who can slay a guardian in one strike in Arcasia, and that's Caden. Caden was no ordinary mortal. No sidereal ever said it aloud, but some thought it was uh, he was half Lazanith and half Sylvain. There should have been something born of that union that imbued Caden with an inexplicable power. Hmm, so many unanswered questions. Go to Balthor and ask him about Caden. God damn it! There may be records left from Galater. Oh my god, Galater and Caden. He, di he didn't like drinking, but Caden shared drinks with Galater from time to time. If he's willing to listen to a drunkard's stories, I presume they were close. I'll go find Balthor. I sense that Caden is somewhere close by. If you are meant to meet, you will meet. He may appear soon. Oh my god, this game right now. Oh my god, this game right now. Oh, sail around the world and talk to every character you've met. Okay. Let's go to Yorn. Uh, and we just, we just teleported to Yorn so we could not teleport back there, so... We may as well sail. Oh, Simon, the progress. <laughs> it's so slow. It's so slow, Simon. Hmm. What am I at? 19. Hmm. Ooh. How does fish transformation work? Do you just flop on the ground and like drown in the air? I'm really confused by that. Oh, <laughs> you're enjoying the you're enjoying the daily grind. I mean, the good thing is, um, it's nice when you hit it here. Because then you're like, oh my god, I'm progressing so fast. And then it's like, the fucking brakes hit. For tier 1, though, I'm telling you. 
just the all the islands in this half of the world are so good for tier one so 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 good We got to be getting near the end of this Caden quest, though. Um, we didn't talk to Wei there, which is weird, because Wei was at Illusion Bamboo Island. Uh, which... Oh, which island? PvP islands aren't so bad. They're not bad. I'm trying to remember that island. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's... You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. You will probably not encounter a character that even fights you there. Okay, we're going to the Great Castle. We're going to Balthor. Hello. Yeah, I've never gotten into a fight on a PvP island, except for when they have events that are like, okay, everyone, go to this PvP island and you're forced to do an event. Other than that, I've never gotten in a fight. Most people just run past you. Oh, my friend. Welcome. Need a friend to drink with. And here I was about, uh, about to start missing you. I'm looking for Caden. So you're looking for Sidereal Caden. I see. Nynaeve heard Caden's voice. While most of us, uh, while most have to run around with, uh, for their bread, this one can just sit down and listen. What a convenient skill that is. I have something to ask you. You have something to ask me? Sure, of course. I'll tell you everything I know. I can tell, I can even tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. Um, okay. That's not necessary. I would actually rather know about Caden. Master and Caden. You know. Hmm. I heard that you were very close friends. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say, just like you and me. <laughs> I heard you were drinking buddies. You already heard from the, the, the old man? My master used to mention him often when he was still alive. I don't think they were close at the beginning. In fact, they were indifferent to one another. But they became close because of this. Listen close. My master's dream was to be a bard. Not of music, but of mirth. Yeah, especially if you hit them both with one stone, Roz. Or Chew, I guess I should call you. Uh, not of music, but of mirth. The jokes, you see. But he was so good with his hands that he became a blacksmith. Fate is funny that way, in any case. He gave up becoming a joke teller. But then one day, at a dinner where Sidereals were gathered, my master unleashed a whale of a joke. It was hilarious. But no one laughed. Except for one person, that is. Caden overheard the joke and laughed out loud. My goodness, everyone was shocked. He'd never cracked a smile, let alone laugh. My master had done the impossible. A legend of a wholly different level. Um, okay. You don't believe me, do you? My master tells the best jokes, but he doesn't brag about it like those Umars. And not only that, he has so many stories in his head that he could tell them for four straight days and nights. Can I believe that? My master and Caden even went to the public bath together. They scrubbed each other's backs, you know, very intimate. And my master's mother really liked Caden, so she used to tell him to sleep over. Both of them passed away, so I can prove it to you. But I'm serious. Sounds different from the Caden I've heard about. Well, people praise him as the hero of the century. But when I heard from my master, uh, but what I heard from my master were the stories of an old and very dear friend. Having said that, it's not like I believe my master's every word. And they were definitely close, I can tell you that. Do you want to check and see if they were really that close? I have a way. Can you tell my assistant to bring the item that I left with him? You know my assistant, Enios. Just tell him I sent you, and he will know what I'm talking about. Okay, where is Enios? I'm still testing it, so I don't know if it will work. Oh, my. Slash B A N space. Nice helmet. <laughs> huh? What brings
brings you here? I'm rather busy and Balthor is nowhere to be found. If it's not urgent, please come back. Actually, Balthor is literally standing in the only place he stands. What? Balthor said to bring the item he left with me? Absurd. I'm so busy right now. What is he doing? Ah, more gray hairs every day. Being around him. I guess I'll do as Balthor says. When will he grow up, though? Ah, the thing just appeared out of nowhere. Balthor asked me to hide it from Kesar, and then uh, never showed up again. I thought he forgot all about it, but now he's asking someone else to bring it. Uh, I'll tell you this. Being the assistant of the legendary Sun Keeper is not all it's cracked up to be. Here. If it's inside the box. Uh, so just take it as is. It's very precious, so don't drop it. Okay. What? I'm holding it. Oh, I'm already holding it. I don't even know what the scarecrow thing does. I, I've not looked at it. I'm actually a little bit stuck on my on the Fate Spire. Although I think it'll from what I've seen, I just need to use the stealth cloak and it'll be a lot easier. But the Florimon is annoying. Oh, I'll put it down right here. Carefully. It's an amazing device that I designed and produced. It's a sort of projector that rolls back time and lets you travel into the past. In short, I call it the Temporal Projector. You're amazing, Balthor. Really? How embarrassing. <laughs> Funny story of how I came, came up with it. Amazing, really. I made it with a time stone I stole from the palace. But hey, don't tell Kesar, okay? Look at the fine ornamental details crafted with Arcasium. <laughs> I suppose it's immodest to brag, but it's just so fantastic. Uh, let's ask about the temporal projector. So this is going to show us something about Caden in the past. Uh, uh, what's with that face? Uh, just trust me. I'll show you how close my master and Caden were. Let me tell you how to use the projector. Listen we up. We need an item from a relevant era to use the projector on. I say we get one of the 500-year-old barrels from Nereus Tavern. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Let's turtle over there. Your technology is truly impressive. Okay. Oh, we gotta go over here. Hello, Nuria. Welcome, my friend. What brings you here today? Oh, I see. Balthor is up to his old tricks. What? You need old wine to activate Balthor's invention? Specifically, wine that's been aged for 500 years? Hmm. I do have a very special wine that was brewed by my grandmother. It's basically one of our family heirlooms. I wouldn't give it to anyone else. But since it's you, I'll agree to let you have a bottle. Just pour it into the oldest barrel you can find. Uh... Okay. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Uh, that's really bad advice. Your technology is truly impressive. Oop, wrong thing. There's a legendary pickaxe that... Listen, my stream has been called the the resident sleeper stream. You know, it's I'm very I'm very very good at putting people to sleep. That's kind of my thing. So, uh, we have to decide on a date to go back to. Should I put the drink in here? I think Balthor just wanted 500 year old wine. When my master was the most active, please select a target date. Okay, uh, now we just have to wait here. See, how about Balthor's? 50th birthday party! Eh? Ball Floor's 50th birthday party. Okay. Are we gonna hear Ball, uh, 
Galater's joke at some point. I was very cute when I was younger. Now, you try. Press two? What? What? Oh, just press on the thing. I was like, use a grenade, what? Number two. The day Galator's scalding made Balthor cry. Do we get to watch a video of this? We're going with number four. Oh, this stupid device. Number four. The victory day of the chain war. That sounds good. This is an All instance. Right. Let's go there. Or as goats would say. I'm just going to leave it there so she can chime in if she wants. Pear flower wine is the best. <laughs> it's bitter. Over here, Galater. <laughs> uh, wait, can I just drink? Okay. <laughs> Look how drunk Shandy is. He is part of the floor now. Oh my god, he has brown hair. <laughs> you drunkard. Now cheers. <laughs> Great job. Drink moderately. She the designated driver? Who would have thought I would go to war with the Umars and, and uh, we would end up drinking together? Life is indeed long. Azena puts down the glass on the table. Inanna has been waiting to speak to you. Good night, Asina. Hey, Fudge, how's it going? And what? Daddy, chill? What? What does that mean? I can't believe the war is over. It's as if the war never happened in the first place. It seems so peaceful. The Arcs were hidden throughout the continent of Arcasia. So I feel like I can finally relax now. Are you ready to drink with me all night? You can leave me alone. Uh, you can't leave me alone like Lutera and Xian, okay? Let's all toast. Okay, let's leave her alone like uh, Lutera and Xian. Raise the glass of victory! And Umar toast! <laughs> Here's mud in your eye. Ah, uh, cheers! 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 To victory. <sighs> Everyone looks happy. Okay. Hey, Caden. Are you stewing in your solitude again? Come on. You should be with your friends on a day like this. <laughs> you know it's gonna be the hardest thing for Simon in this game, I believe. Choosing between Wei and Ch and Caden, it's gonna be so hard for them to choose. Caden drinks by himself in silence. We won. It's high time to drink your cares away. The war is not over yet. All the demons did was withdraw temporarily. Caden stares blankly into his drink. Worry too much, and your hair will fall out. You worry too much. I may be bald, but I still have plenty of hair on my face. <laughs> Save your concerns and drink up. Woo! <laughs> Caden tops off the empty glass with more beer. What are your plans? I will leave soon. You're leaving where to? Caden drinks, not saying a word. I'm going to train a pupil. A, a master. Suits you. With how much you nag. Okay. I 
got a bottle of the good stuff. Been saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> I choose Balthor, by the way. You'd better visit. Don't let me drink alone for too long. And maybe write me a letter every once in a while. Hmm? Like any loyal comrade would do. I'm going to miss you. <sighs> okay. Mm. I wonder how far away we are from finding this jerk. No. Oh, my projector. Okay, we're wibbly wobbly for some reason. Okay, so is that guy? Hello, hello. Wake up. Mm, probably not to be honest. I think he uh just it, it, his arms must be pretty good cuz he one-shots every bad guy in the world. Don't die. Are you awake now? Remember me. Can you tell me who I am? Can you tell who I am? Balthor? Oh, master, you're alive. I was so worried. You fainted as soon as the projector was activated, so I got really scared. You lost consciousness for a long time. I saw the past. The projector worked. I admit, I had my doubts. Who knew I would be such a genius inventor? Some of my master's abilities must have rubbed off on me. So, did you see Galater and Caden? Yes. Yes. Well, should I tell you? Oh, I'm short of breath. Okay. I want to know. Please tell me. The two appeared to be quite close. Really? I knew it, so my master was right. I knew it. Ha ha ha. By the way, letters. My master did receive letters from time to time. When my master passed away, I burned his clothes, but I couldn't bring myself to burn the things he had used. He put his keepsakes in the fervent workshop. So let's go find them. Where is that? Okay. That being said, we haven't seen what way looks like. We haven't seen what uh, Caden looks like in the past 500 years. We don't know. We have no clue. Where the heck is this dude? So I'm pretty sure this whole quest line was added in the recent update, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Where are they? Why am I so forgetful? I'm sure I put the master's keep keepsakes here. Where are they? Hmm. Can you help me find them? Sure. They're right here. They're under the glowing light, Balthor. The glowing light. Galatra's records. I had dinner with Balthor today. We ate his favorite stew. He liked it so much that uh, he had eaten five bowls. He ate it with such vigor that uh, that passing Umars came into the restaurant just to see him eat. The owner was thankful for the free publicity. So he to even told us we didn't have to pay. Even Balthor is eating is special. You can't predict these things. Balthor is getting more stub stubborn. At first, he was an innocent and obedient kid, but now he's just doing everything he can to annoy me. Today, he hit all the oars I was honing around the house. Where are those oars, Balthor? Where are those oars? I need them. Um, to do a treasure hunt at his age? Balthor, what a brat. Master. Balthor, Balthor hurt his... Oh my god, he's crying. Balthor hurt his hand while playing at Blacksmith. He, it was bleeding badly, and I yelled at him. All I could think about was getting him to a healer quickly. Luckily, he got it taken care of before anything bad happened. But it could have been very bad. Today uh, was a result of my own foolishness, not Balthor's. I should have... 
I shouldn't have taken in such a young child to become a blacksmith. I regret it. Seeing him in pain tears my heart apart. How painful it must have been. I wish it would have been me instead of him. That must be how a father feels. I would like to see the Ark too. After the end of the chain war was declared, we decided to hide the seven arcs throughout the continent of Arcasia. I hid one arc in a dry and desolate land so that no one that no one would ever think to search. Someday, someone will try to rule the world with his ark, and someone will stand in opposition to safeguard our way of life. I pray for the world uh, where the power of the ark is not needed, where peace is the rule rather than the exception. Navinos. A unique sword is drawn in the old notebook. The time that was given to me is nearly enough. Uh, when the sun rises, Caden will come to retrieve the Navinos as promised. I boasted that I should reveal the hidden secret of the Navinos, but I did, did not solve its riddles. The energy of the sword overflowing as if it was on the verge of destroying the blade. Where is it coming from? How could a sword that has never been repaired have such a ferociously sharp edge? What master blacksmith was were capable of this caliber of sword? My curiosity will never be sated, Navinos. My mission is to uncover the secret of the sword. Master said Navinos was a flawless sword. I wish I could see it for myself just once. Tell me more about the Navinos. He mentioned that Caden had a sword from before they met. He said it never needed to be repaired. How great of a sword would it have to be for my master to say a thing like that? By the way, I don't see any letters from uh, Caden. I thought we might have been able to find an address. Maybe he didn't send any letters. Balthor looks through Galater's keepsakes and picks up a thick book. Aha! The funeral guest book is here. Guest book? So many people came to my master's funeral. Ah, uh, I got some dust in my eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the saddest day of my life. I cried so much. I thought I was so... Uh, and I was so disoriented that I never even looked at the guest book. Want to take a look? Let's do it. This name. The great sidereal Galater has fallen asleep for the last time, never to stir again. His many achievements will shine forever, like the stars in the sky. See you again soon, brother. Uh, you did your best. Your spirit will guide my sword from now on. I will miss you, my dear Galater. Caden. So, Caden attended his funeral. At least my master had some company. He should have at least had a drink if he came. He didn't even say hello or goodbye. I have news about Navinos. He sent a message. He requested the following, and he sent it from Asteri Island. Asteri? Asteri is a quiet village island, or island village. Uh, I was told by our leader to deliver this message. See you alive. And that's it. I'm done here. Where is this place? Who was that? He disappeared so quickly, or so suddenly. Just to deliver news of Caden, very suspicious. I made a deal with the leader of Carpus. By Carpus? Oh, you mean the guild that deals in dangerous jobs? I have heard of Umars who got in trouble uh, by trading with them. I'm sure you'll be okay, hopefully, but just still be extra careful. Positive! Talk to Balthor. I like that answer. And you're off to find Caden now, I guess. I have one request for you if you do meet Caden. Can you please tell him that Galator's best student wants to research the Navinos? Please, can you do that? Huh? Can you imagine Balthor the ingenious repairs the Sword of Legend? I'll have to start studying more. Anyways, I'm counting on you. Okay, are we ready to go? Where is this place? Where is this? It's under Vern. Uh... Huh. Can we get there? Are we going to meet Caden finally? Oh yeah, why is that? Okay. What's what's the easiest way? Wait, what? Oh, 
That's terrible. Stop. Stop. Hmm. What's the best way through here? the best path yeah you know what i you know what i used to do for my three for my three um for the leapstone things i would go from lutera i would do black fangs den i would do a daily there then i would do the one at the peito which is a little bit of an annoying one and then i would do the one at calherds or Calthurts. Those were the three I would do. Yeah, I mean, it's often really fast. I find the Peito one more annoying than, than the Black Fang one for sure. Because the Peito one is basically what I'm doing right now. It's just sailing forever. Ugh. Yeah, it's annoying. It, it requires you to sail to... It requires you to sail to um, Revelry Row, Tortoic, and... Uh, and uh, Turtle Island. The Calahertz one, or the Calthurts one isn't bad. It's pretty fast. I used like 30,000 pirate coins today. Oh, yeah. So one of these days, I'm probably going to have to grind it out. I, I finished up the, um, I finished up the last mining one today. But we have a few more of these. How many do we need to do of these? We'll get it, though. We'll get it easy peasy. I haven't done the, um, the Flotsam one much this week because I've been on this half of the world and no Flotsam appears on this half of the world. I want to see something. So, we are... We can probably... I don't think it applies this experience until the end of the week. So there is a chance we probably won't hit level... We probably won't hit level 5. But there is a chance that we will. I'm kind of wondering if I should uh, move a waypoint over to Punica instead of Yorn. I don't know. Okay, let's check out this island real fast. Oh, wait. I'm going to the wrong place. Shit. Oh, well, it all works out. It basically brought us the exact same direction. It's fine. I do have a quest there to turn in, but... Hmm. This place says recommended item level 1100. But I mean, this whole quest line has been giving us tier 3 stuff, so it makes sense it says that.
Oh man, this item level grind, Simon. The item level grinds. Hmm. Cursed Ball is definitely a double-edged sword. Okay. This song is so chill. Ooh, what is this place? Is this another new island? This might be another new island. It looks a little bit like Punica. Although Punica is more like Hawaiian or something. A little girl is looking around, stamping her feet. this better this time where am i this is a scary village but who are you i don't have time for this if anyone asks don't tell them you saw me promise okay the cute child waves her pinky finger and runs away uh sure i'm at the right place now i need to find out where novinos is welcome to a scary village an island located near Vern. we're a peaceful fishing village where everyone lives as one big family visitors Please help us maintain the peace and beauty of this village. No fighting, no frippery. I've never heard that word. And no finagling. I've never seen finagle, finagling written. I've only heard it said. So it's weird seeing that written out. How about a drink after work? I've never heard that name. Fuckery. I'm guessing frippery is like fuckery. Oh. I have Man. no idea. Huh? <laughs> Who? Hmm? Oh, you're looking for a man with long silver hair. So they're saying, uh, they're saying don't be extra. Silver hair, silver hair, hmm. Oh, the man who never speaks. Is he still on the island, though? I think I saw him. I still don't, I don't remember too well. Now, where did I see him? talking about the silver-haired stranger where is he now hmm, he doesn't appear to be around here much these days why does everyone make me come to them why doesn't anyone ever come to me you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh anyways oh cindy cindy uh should know where he is for a while she was always at the stranger's heels ask cindy Where's Cindy? Cindy's playing hide-and-seek. Oh, right. I'm it. Ah, uh, Cindy hides really well. I bet she's hiding somewhere that no one can find her. I'll find her for you. Really? Good. Save me the trouble. <laughs> I'll find them all. Let's go, uh, let's go find everybody. I'm sure we'll find Cindy, too, in no time at all. all yeah, right. it's, it is, uh, kind of, a, like, the whole stream today has just been running back and forth across the world trying to find this dude. And he's like, haha, I'm on this island, but I'm hiding. Surprise! How did you know I was here? Um, because I have a, I have a mini map. <sighs> you can't ask a grown up. What? I know you're here. What? Oh, is that where we already found the guy? What the hell? This person is a really good at hide and seek, evidently. 
Oh, two out of three. Okay, that's probably just the former guy's uh, icon. Why are we helping them find other people? Why don't we just help them find Cindy? Any trace of... S oh, okay. Let's click on this. Oh, come on. I was pretty sure I had it this time. Oh, no fair. You use the mini-map. You said you wouldn't tell anyone you saw me. How were you able to find me? You ruined our game. It's not fair. I have something to ask you. My mom told me not to talk to strangers, S so I'll stay as silent as a ghost. <laughs> I'm a knight of King Lutera and an Arthitinian. What? Suspicious. Great people don't need to say anything to verify their greatness. You just feel it from their energy. Like Mr. Navinos, for example. Navinos, where is he? You know Mr. Navinos? That's double suspicious. Why are you looking for him? I need uh, Mr. Navinos' help. Help from him. How could Mr. Novinos help a knight of the king of... Wait a minute, don't tell me. Yes, Novinos is... I knew it! Mr. Novinos is a prince living among commoners who has hidden his identity. He was a... I knew he was a prince, I just knew it. No, Novinos is a sidereal. Wow. Mr. Novinos is a real-life sidereal who prote protects the world. You're not lying to me just because I'm a kid, right? But now that I think about it, it makes sense. He could really be one. Because, because he's so handsome. <laughs> okay, I'll take you where to where he is. But before I do that, I'm only 10 years old and I need to ask my mom. If she meets you and you're not a stranger anymore, got it? Follow me. Just tell me where he is. You don't need to show me. Who have you brought, Cindy? Who are you? Why did you chase Cindy? I'm looking for someone and I need Cindy's help. My child is clever, like her mother, but the mountains are dangerous. The color of the sky is looking strange, too. And that pretty man at the base of the mountain also seems suspicious. And you look suspicious, too. I'm a knight of the King of Lutera. I thought you looked familiar. Are you that hero they talk about? Oh, wow, you really are the one I saw in the newspaper. But why did you want to go to the mountain? I'm looking for Novinos. Ah, oh, the famous mercenary. Cindy hangs out on his every word. She follows him around no matter how many times I tell her not to. He seems cold and different, like he doesn't care what's going on in the world. I'm surprised someone like you came to find a person like him. Since I do know who you are now, I'll let you head to the mountain with Cindy. But uh, you have to come back before sunset, okay? Okay, where is it? Where? Okay, so exciting! I didn't think Mom would allow this. Amazing! Let's go find Mr. Navinos. Okay, let's meet this guy already. Oh, we should get flowers for Mr. Navinos. Jesus Christ, no! Uh, yeah. Oh, His my... hair is so shiny and silver and pretty. <laughs> I'm not getting him flowers. The moment I saw Mr. Navinos. What the hell? She just teleported around? That was weird. What the fuck? This girl's creepy. Don't tell my mom about this. Okay? Collect these flowers. Help me collect some. Oh my good god, Cindy. Uh Canela flowers bring you good fortune. <laughs> That's why they're so hard to find. Do you smell the fragrance? Isn't it pretty? The canela is the loveliest flower in the world. I haven't seen many places in the world, but still. I'm sure he will like these, don't you think? Navinos will be happy. Right. Gosh, look at them. So pretty. I don't care, Cindy! I have a feeling that something good will happen today. He he, let's go. Okay, actually, if they're right where he is, hey, I guess it works way. out. We didn't have to go out of our way. It's fine. Tell her to wait a bit. What? But that side. Oh my god.
<laughs> Revelry Row is ridiculous. Man, there's an event and you have to dance and then they're like, okay, boom, cinematic. And the cinematic zooms in on two girls' butts and bikinis as they walk up. It is so, like, <laughs> so over the top. that you can climb this cliff. Mr. Navanos is still cooler, though. Let's take a break. Yeah, their target audience is clearly goats. Huh? You're already tired? Are you sure you're a real hero? You didn't lie, did you? Okay, in the meantime, I'll sing you a song that I learned from him. He told me not to share it, but since he collected the canela flowers, I'll sing it for you. Oh, Jesus. I can't take it. Leave me alone. Okay, later. How are you over here? Are you a ghost? We are here. Your your voice acting is just it's 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 unsettling to me. Mr. Navinos lives in the place over there. Oh, he's outside. Hey, mister. Oh nice, you get to see it. Oh, look who it is. It's a dreamy boy. Mr. Navinos! I'm here. Oh, God. <gasps> Sephi Rob! Sephi Rob! Never seen you before. Uh, Sidereal Caden, I came here to find you. I am. The man looks at you coldly. Strangers seek me out for two reasons to kill me or to die trying. <laughs> oh, lol. Okay. This is why he doesn't have any friends nearby. Cindy's like, oh, hi, Navinos. And he's like, Strangers only find me for two reasons. They kill me or die trying. Cindy's mom's like, yeah, you can hang out with him. I've seen his face. It's fine. Uh, Don't you do slash dance? Anyways, this is why he doesn't have any friends nearby. But we've got a way to handle him. Ta-da! The canela crown should work. We should make it together and then put it on his head. Uh, okay, let's let's do it. I guess we could try it. It'll work. I swear everyone loves flowers even a grumpy man like mr. Navinos <laughs> Let's make a flower. Okay uh, I'm sure he will like it. We're making him a little crown of flowers We have plenty of canela flowers here. So we just need the stems and long tree branches like this. What the fuck is this game right now? Oh, that's a good one and like this and like this got it. What are you doing? Follow me We're at him We've met him! And now we have to make him a little a little crown of flowers? What is this game? Here. You're telling me all those people at the club are dancing in bikinis to the national anthem? Just like twerking out to the Star Spangled Banner. That was fast. You found them. Now you can take these and put them like this. And like this. And then you just connect them. You can do that, right? Weren't you going to make it? What? Come on. Show some effort. That'll make it go faster. Maybe I should make one too. I think Mr. Navinos doesn't get bored. He never comes down to the village. Oh my god, we literally just have to wait. Cindy was like Caden very much. I'm worried for him. Mom says it's dangerous to be living in the mountains alone. There we go. Give it to Cindy. Here. 
welcome. I have something for you, too. This is my gift to you. What is this? It better be tier two honing materials. Otherwise, I don't want it. It's a fucking grasshopper flute. No, thank you. I made it with some grass while you were making the flower coronet. Uh, Mr. Navinos told me how to do it. Grab the tail and blow like this. One second. One second. One second. This is really important. Coronet. Okay, I nailed it. Fucking nailed it. Okay, Mr. Navinos told me how to do it. Grab the tail and blow like this. I hear grasshoppers. <laughs> it's fun, right? You want to try it? Oh my god, it did what the hell? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? Look at you. You're <laughs> struggling. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Mr. Navinos knows so many things. He can brew tea from leaves. You should see him chop down trees. I'm the only one who knows how to make a grasshopper flute in the whole village. He taught only me. That must mean that we're really good friends, right? Maybe even best friends. Yes, you sound like good friends. He seems cold, but he really is not. He has a ton of cute secrets. Things that only I know. He <laughs> he. Oh, that's uh... This is making me uncomfortable, guys. If you hide near his cabin, you can see everything. What the fuck? You're good at hiding? You may not know this, but I'm the best hider in the world. Nobody can find me, unless they have a mini-map, in which case, it's very easy. Well, I've never been outside of this island, but anyways, I'm pretty sure I'm the best. Oh, the sun will set soon. Mom said to come back before that. Quick, go see him. You have to give him the flower coronet. Mm, I'm gonna hide so I can see everything. Are you brushing it hair. off? Aww, so nice. Cindy, go back to the village. Aww, but I just got here. We're giving him the flower crown. <sighs> You're kidding me. Maybe he doesn't know what pretty is. You're kidding me. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know what pretty is. I'm sorry. I guess he doesn't like it too much. Look at those butts, Simon. Look at the butts on your screen. But I'll use the flower coronet. It'll look perfect on me. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Darn it. I should head down now. You don't need to babysit me. I'm not a kid. I know the mountains. Uh. Okay. Is she? Go I wonder if she's all right. We just let her go through the mountains by herself. Caden is staring at you. Why did you come to find me? Uh. Uh, Nina Vey is looking for you. Nina Vey, has she awakened? So in the end, she was able to endure the pain from that day. But you brought something troubling. You didn't even notice the tale. Carmine? Carmine. Oh, it's, is it the guy who said he was going to eat him? Oh, it's a bird? Well, I fucked up. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. My bad. <laughs> Control Z. The Chaos Gate. Damn it. There's no time. Let's do this. Caden wiped out the demons on his way to the village. Wait, did he go down this way? 
Leroy Jenkins. But Caden, your flower crown. Man, we fucked up this place really fast. Wait, what about the court? It said both, Simon. It said both. Good God. This sucks. This really sucks. I'm gonna die. I died. Ah, let's use a thing. Hey guys. Yay, we're alive. What? I'm stuck. I can't move. Okay, here, I'm just gonna talk to you. What? No worries. Anytime. We're safe now. Yeah, yeah, you're saved. <laughs> Everything's good. I can't beat these guys. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I know. Uh, what now? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, can I get there by going around? I can't. What do I have to do? Look for Cindy's mom. Cindy's mom has got it going on. How do I... Oh my god. Do I have to beat these guys? Because that might not happen. Let's get out of here a bit. Okay. There's one down. There we go. Now we can break this. It's you. I don't see Cindy. She was just with me. You don't think anything happened to her, do you? Please, find her. She's really good at hiding. Don't worry. You're a good person. I know you can help. I will find Cindy no matter what. Thank you. Thank you so much. She went to make a gift for the silver-haired mercenary. What the fuck, girl? I don't think she went too far. Cindy's mom. You need to stop letting this girl hiding and hide and see everything and make presents for this guy over and over and over. What the fuck? Cindy is my everything. Please, help me find my child. Cindy. <laughs> Somebody help. The flower crown Cindy wore blood spots. She dead? We got a dead kid? Did we kill Cindy? This guy's gonna get chopped in one hit by Caden, right? God damn it. That was a waste. That fucking sucked.
No, bad place to be. Bad place to be. Okay, do your stupid meteor thing. This guy's almost staggered at least. Let's stagger this jerk real fast. There we go, staggered. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Okay, get chopped in half by Caden real fast. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god. We're gonna see a montage of this dead kid. She's hiding, right? She's alive. Okay, she's probably dead. But she is good at hiding. They had did set up how good at hiding she is. He dead. Okay. He went after the guardian. We must stop the guardian that escaped before they kill the villagers. There we go. Ow. Ow. Ow, I'm stuck. I'm gonna die again. Okay. There we go. There we go. He dead. Oh my god. I'm just like, my character has got to be so bloated from the potions that she is chugging. Look at that. The poor palm tree. You got room? Is that you? Okay, we gotta finish this fight now, I guess. No! I missed! Fuck! 
Are you kidding me? God damn it! Oh my god, that's so annoying. When he goes up in the air, you can't run under him. You can't run, like, because he still counts as a physical entity there. Even though you can't hit him, you can't run under him either. Here we go. Caden, another guy to steal the last hit. I love it. We need good old kill stealers. To be fair, I think he earned that kill steal. Jeez, how high is his swiftness stat? Oh, this place is fucked. Caden silently looks down at the bloodstained flower coronet. I like this song, though. Precious things break easily. They always do. True then, true now. It's too soon to give up. Caden remains silent. Cindy might be alive. Caden leaves without a word. Is he going to find Cindy? I should follow Caden. Some people might still be awaiting rescue. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, okay. <laughs> that made it a little bit less dramatic. Make sure to check under the collapsed walls, too. This isn't Everything's happening. down. Oh, you were safe. I'm safe too, thanks to both of you. What are you doing? We're searching for survivors. This is devastating, but we're still alive. Would you please help us? Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you so much. I'm not going to tell anyone that I kind of <laughs> indirectly caused this a bit, but. My goodness. To be fair, though, I made a little bit of a scene by searching every fucking place in the world for this dude. Grasshopper flute. Who's there? Mr. Navinos. What kept you so long? I was so scared. <laughs> Look at this like fucking hand thing. What is that? What kind of glove is that? Curly IRL, why did you cheer for me failing to sell a thing on the market? We'll find a way to repay you for rescuing Cindy. Cindy, you need to thank them too. Thank you. Mom said we're going to Vern. Not much is left of the village. And my aunt, uh, Anella is in Vern. She said that I have to study there. 
I like playing with Mr. Navinos. This isn't fair, but Mr. Navinos said he would visit me in Vern. It will be okay. I won't cry. I'm not a kid. I'm gonna marry Mr. Navinos when I'm older. You'll see. Cindy is trying very hard not to cry. You're not fighting with him now, right? We are better than we were before. Mom said people get closer after they fight. Mom even said fighting brings out character, whatever that is. I'm sure we'll meet again. Promise you'll visit me in Vern. I promise. I promise. It'll take a while before the island recovers from the damage. And this is heartbreaking. I wanted to ask you something when I found you. I already know. You're looking for the Ark, not for me. Hmm? The Ark doesn't represent hope. It's more like a sacrifice. What do you mean? You have a long way to go. Tell Anineve that I will find her when she needs me. It won't take long. Now, before you leave, I have one piece of advice. Don't trust Lazanith. Interesting. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Interesting. Bye. Interesting. Oh, this place got freaking destroyed. Is Carmine well, going to show up? Of course he is. That was of something. course he is. Your old pal in the sidereal. Pretty exciting. <laughs> we don't have time for this, Carmine. Is he going to absorb him? You have quite the gift. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. got some time want to go say hi to your friend so why didn't Armin do that uh, earlier you know I don't have friends on the mountain oh cry me a river oh little sulky guy oh, really I find that quite hard to believe <laughs> I don't understand Armin's character, just flat out. I do not understand where, how his mind would get here from earlier. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. They, they, he 180, like, I, I don't understand his internal struggle. Why would he possibly, possibly follow Carmine? It makes zero sense. Okay. Oh, 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 look where we have to go. You know what? Cancel. We're going to go here, and then we're going to go here. It makes zero sense. Freaking Carmine is giving him lectures on how humans are evil. Meanwhile, <laughs> all the destruction that led to this is connected to freaking the demons that Harmon is somehow trying to side him to war. It's like, what?
Oh my god, Sakria is bad? Oh my gosh, humans must be evil. Yeah! Do you remember that whole thing when we fought Sherrit? And like, Carmine caused that? And now you're like, oh, you're right, Carmine. He Did you forget about the whole, like, manipulating everyone to kill everyone thing that he did? And now you're acting like you're somehow betrayed? Oh my gosh. I don't get him. It is an example, I think, of plot before character. They for are trying to force the plot to go in a certain way that betrays what the character would do. It's so... It doesn't make any sense. Okay. We actually have to turn a quest into her, don't we? And Like, another quest? An additional quest? We do. Okay, Tatoikis, spawn for me. Spawn for me, Tatoikis. Give me my shortcut. Thank you. Okay, play the whole emote. I know, we have to watch the whole thing. Your face is weird. I laughed too much. My cheeks and belly hurt. Hopefully that smile will always be there. I always smile when I'm with you. It's weird that that only happened... That it, only happy things happen with you around. Well, unfortunately, uh, Nina Ve, I'm gonna have to tell you some bad news in a second to prove you wrong. It's not strange at all. The Lazarus are still paying... For their sin of stealing the Ark. I'm a warrior whose duty is to protect my race, so I must remain vigilant. I hope they don't work too much. You think I work too much? Well, it's not always hard. Uh, well, it's not always hard. I even get to meet you. Ah, uh, I talked about myself too much. Let me hear more about you next time. Tell me about what you saw when you were happy, your difficult times. I want to laugh and cry with you. Hmm, well, I guess crying together is a bit weird. I still want to help you someday. There we go. That quest is done. I welcome you. I was talking to Nineve about uh, what to do if you couldn't find Caden. Did you manage to find him? A lot happened when I met Caden. Hmm, so he will come on his own. That sounds just like something Caden would say. He keeps his word, so I am sure he will come help us when the time comes. Got it. Good work. Go tell Nineve too. She has been waiting for you. Should we You're back. Start did you meet Caden? I did meet Caden and uh. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. I see. I'm glad Caden is safe. Caden told me not to trust the Lazarus. Caden said that? When Caden left Algesha long ago, I heard something terrible had happened. So, maybe that's the reason why. At least that's one but reason why. I trust Caden. Even if, uh, if ever Arcasia is in trouble, Caden will return. Sinister winds are blowing, just as they did 500 years ago. There's not much time left. As long as everyone he is here, I'm sure we can do it again. Let's protect Arcasia together, mint plant. Yay! I obtained a bunch of tier 3 materials. Amazing. Woo! Ooh, what is this? Oh... 
That's an interesting skill. That's a very interesting skill. Okay, well, you know what? I think on that note, we call it there. So, let's give a uh, a quick shout out to a Nintendo 64. Uh, Nintendo 64, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Nintendo 64 is a uh, a really nice, entertaining streamer, a fellow Canadian, um, and definitely worth checking out. Uh, I hope you guys have an, a wonderful day. I will be back sometime in the future. <laughs> I'll be back sometime in the future. Probably this week. If not, I'll be back next week. Um, so see you guys soon. Take care. Mwah.